Okay, welcome back everybody. It's the weekend and I'm gonna continue more of the Pokemon DLC. I've actually been looking forward to this. However, I needed to get some um, ba uh, blueberry points. As you can see, I took quite a while to get it up to near nearly 12k. That's what you need, right? Because I was told that trying to do this on stream would be very boring. And honestly, th these little quests are probably some of the most tedious things I've ever seen. Like they are not very fun to do in bulk. Yeah, I need 12k for the starter unlocks. That's what I want. Hopefully I don't need to spend any to reach that. But um, I'm also told I should be talking to this character. Sweet, sweet synchronization. Ah, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. Her name is Sinclair. I get it. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? Yes. Yes. That's the spirit. Let's head over to the test area then. You'll need to have a Pokemon out of its ball for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. Okay. Let's just throw Ogre Pawn out. Are you ready to help me out with this amazing exper uh, experiment? Yeah, sure. That's the spirit. Let's get started then. Synchro Nice. Okay. Apparently, blueberry point farming is much easier to do in a group. Okay. Your mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of your Pokemon. Now that you're all synced up, your Pokemon will be mo will move as directed by your thoughts. I am Ogre Pond. Let's start with a movement test. There's a tree in front of your Pokemon. Try moving over there. I am the Pokemon now. Does this mean I can be a Teddy? Look at this. Look at it. Look at her. I reached a tree. Be careful with this mode. Your Pokemon will defeat shinies, and if a shiny spawns too far away, it'll despawn when you go back to normal. Oh. Ah, yes, you're so in sync. I was able to get some very useful data from that session. Thank you very much. Here's a little something. Three rare candies. You have a talent for this? Would you mind sticking around for one more experiment? It'd be a bit more work than the last, but I'll give you something really nice. Okay. Hang on a second. I need to get a Teddy Ursa. This works on any Pokemon. Cool. By the way, I need to mention right quick. When I was farming blueberry points, I actually found several shinies. I need to show you. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, starting with this Scyther... I ran into that. Then I ran into a, a shiny deerling. See that? Notice the pink flower there. I already had one too of this, of this specific uh, color there. I found an orange electabuzz. I found a very pale litleo, and I found a blue trap inch. I'm calling that blue. I don't care what you say. It's like turquoise. And I also ran into a shiny muck. Or a shiny Alolan muck, but it used Memento, and I didn't even care because I caught the Grimer during the last stream session. Like, the shinies just decided to, like, come on out as soon as we, like, as soon as I turn the stream off. Whatever. So many shinies. Oh, what am I doing? Hold up. I wanted to find a teddy. Oh, that's right. They updated the game and the icons load faster. That's good. It was way too damn slow before. Where are my teddies? I need a bear right now. Come on, I've got to have like 50 of them somewhere. Ah, there's one. Where's all the ones I bred? Okay, with the, with the luxury ball. Let me take this one. We got ourselves teddies. Oopsie. Um... Now let's go ahead and put Bear up front. Won't have any effect. Make the lead Pokemon. Teddy! Look at it. I can become Bear. Yanova, become Teddy. Yes, I am. Let's see here. Okay, then. Here we go. Synchronize. You're almost out of box room. Time to start releasing. Your mind and feelings are synchronized. 
Since this is your second time synchronizing, you should be able to do all sorts of things. Let's begin the battle test. Try taking on some other Pokemon in the area. I can become Teddy! Look! I can I can do a Teddy Boop! Look at that. Look at that! Teddy go boop! Look at him go! Yeah, we can take him. We can take him. Let's go. Come here, big boy. Ow. I don't think Teddy Ears is strong enough to deal with the, the Pokemon there. All right, we'll pause the experiment for now. Come back when you want to sync up again. Teddy just got slaughtered there. I didn't realize we'd be fighting things. Let's play as the shiny Torkoal. Let's let this little turtle have some love. Here we go. Synchronize. Poor Teddy. Poor little bear. Poor little Teddy just wanted to play. Okay, let's try battling. Go, little turtle, go. That's right. Get booped. Look at me. I'm a shiny turtle. Oh, Teddy's leveling? Well, I guess I need to give this bear a bunch of levels if I want to actually use it. I'll have to give it an Everstone. Come here. Come here, Tyrogue. This is the best feature of the DLC. I didn't know you could become a bear. Oh, yes, you got the best synchronization I've ever seen. I'm sure someone with your talent could put this to good use. Synchro machine. Device that synchronizes your mind and feelings with your Pokemon so you can work as, work as one. Still a prototype, hence its unrefined appearance. But you can use the synchronize whenever you want. Try it out with lots of Pokemon. Okay. You can work in sync with the Pokemon you have walking with you. Hold down L button and press R to begin synchronizing. Just remember the synchro machine only works in the terrarium. Okay, that makes sense. Now then... Hang on, I'm gonna give this Teddy Ursa an Everstone. Let's get it to level 100 so we can run around slaughtering things as Super Bear. Let me just find... It should be somewhere in here, right? I gotta have one, I think. Dusk Stone, Oval Stone... Everstone. There you go, little bear. Do your best. Let's heal that Teddy. I have a random seal from when I was catching stuff. What about you? I'm a magic cat. And I'm fast. Look at that. Can I just run anywhere? Wow, this is cool. I can just do this, huh? So, if I bump into a shiny, my character's already really far away, right? So there's no way to really catch the shinies you encounter. Huh. That's a little unfortunate. Let me try Goldengo. Oh, he moves fast. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's see. Oh my god! New snowboarding game unlocked. Let's roll. Um, I can put, I can make little balloons appear with this. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Hi, Smeargle. Yo, what's up, cool cats? Your favorite cheese string boy here is here to play. Here to kick you around. This is the best way to level up Pokemon. Let's fight Flygon. Break him. That Meryl Balloon's all over the place, huh? I don't suppose I could jump. Whap him. 
play soccer. Hell yeah, ain't that cool? Look at me go. Look at me go. Cheese string radical. Yo, let's hit the slopes. Amazing. Watch me find a shiny as soon as I, I, I start doing this, though. I already found five off straight. No, you know what? I'm not going to find a single shiny today. I guarantee it. Simply because I found five between the streams. Whoa, radical! Can Digimon do this? I don't think so. Oh, I, I sorry. I kicked that deer. Oh, sorry. I kicked that one, too. I'm trying to... I, I'm not trying to kick them on purpose, I swear. Look at me go! Can I fly as flying Pokemon? That'd be cool. Darn it, I should be working on the decks, but now I'm messing around with this. If I wouldn't get copyright claimed, I'd play City Escape right now. Check it out. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow our rainbow. Look at me roll. This is exactly how I always wanted to explore Unova. On a snowboard. Using the golden cheese string, dude. We're just not gonna find any... We just can't catch any shinies here. Which is kind of a big oversight. You can't use this for shiny hunting. I can't jump, sadly. There's no kick flip button. Hello, Saw's Buck. Does that mean I break the rule and I can kick shinies now? I'm assuming you can. What happens if I go in the water? Do I float? Whoa! I do. Multiple terrains. Check out this racetrack, chat. I could do this all day. It's so stupid. I probably might. You know what? Str whole stream's canceled. I'm just gonna play around as Goldengo now. Get the clip button ready for when I find a shiny. Don't worry. It will happen. Probably. Either I'm gonna find a lot, or I'm gonna find none at all. Oh, hey, Tauros! I need you. Not gonna be able to come get you now, though. Because I'm on the other side of the map. Well. I think maybe I should have. Hey, hang on. Okay, you got a yellow flower. Oh, hey, it's another Tauros. Can I kick these ones? Yes, I can. Unbelievable. Teddy Ursa grows. Hang on. What happens if I use it on a flying Pokemon now? I want to see. Cleffa. Why would I become a Cleffa? I don't think the shiny's still going to be there if I go all the way from the central frickin' plaza. Um. Boxes. Place the seal with, um... That's a cool Pokemon we could pick. Where's my shiny box? What do I have in there again? Nothing that really flies, except Scyther. That hardly matters, though. What if I run around as Toad School? Because I caught a shiny Toad School. I want to see. Also, I shouldn't put the... Hang on, I shouldn't put the seal in the shiny box, for crying out loud. That doesn't belong there thing. Get banished to the bonus decks. Okay, just, just one more Pokemon for now, and then I want to get back to playing, for real. But this is fun. That's my shiny toad school. Whoa! He's making a run for it! Uh-oh. Well, all right, 
then. He scrambled out of the water, and now I'm back here. He can run. He can do a little funny run. Look at him go. You're telling me. Okay, let me put you back in the shiny box, and let's go get that, um... Let's go get that Tauros to start. And maybe we can go fight Drayton and all that. Hang on, should I have an extra strong Pokemon with me at the moment? I should, shouldn't I? For my battle against Drayton. Teddy's here for emotional support, don't worry. The bear can stay. Let me see, did I put him anywhere in here? No, this is all random Pokemon I had to catch for the uh, decks and all that. Ogre Pawn is still plenty good, and we got Goldengo as backup, too. Maybe take my back Scalibur out, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, let's get back Scalibur. They've been good to me this whole playthrough, all the way back to the base game days. Is that my back Scalibur right there? Yes, it is. Level 91. That's how you know it's getting close. We shall level up the Teddy, and then we will be ready. But first, hang on. Let's go down here. I want to catch Tauros, because I need I know I need it for the decks. Wow, that was a fun little distraction, wasn't it? Now let's actually make some progress. So chat, by the way, I might need your guys' help with, um... Oh, hang on, I should connect to the internet. Yeah, let's do this. So I might need your guys' help because I still need the version exclusives. Uh, a lot of my mods are too busy to trade today, so we can't do that during this stream. So if some of y'all want to help me get those, that'd be nice. Shiny Lucario appears. Well, okay then. Worry about that later. I don't think I need the shiny Lucario for the decks. Let's check these, see if we can get some raids going. Come on, what is it? Vibrava. Tauros, where are you? Oh, there you are. But I'll catch this one, it's easier. Hold up. Well, I missed it, but it's fine. Let's catch. You got Scarlet, so you can't give me exclusives? That's okay. Now then, let's go ahead and eat a quick ball at him. Kanto Tauros is its own thing, so it's a different deck slot. Ball swipe it is. If the Terra one could go away so I could fix the frame rate, that would be nice. Critical hit. Okay, it's confused now. Let's get it before it goes away. The whole battle is chugging because of this glowing thing next to me. He's waiting for his turn. Let's do it. Alright. I believe there's an area in the canyon I need to reach. One of the mountaintops should have the fossils and Skarmory. Pretty sure I get Kranidos and Shieldon is in Violet. <clears throat> okay. I kind of want a shiny Kranidos. Oh. This thing did not want to mess around, apparently. Well, you can't hit Goldengo. Hmm. Yeah, just eat an Ultra Ball at him. If you can also turn into your Pokemon when you're playing multiplayer, does that mean you can play hide-and-seek with your friends? Where everybody becomes a Pokemon and hides somewhere in the world? That unironically sounds like it could be a fun stream idea. Does that mean if you play as a shiny, you're fr you can hide among other Pokemon and trick your friend into thinking they found a shiny? Because that would be, be horrifyingly awesome. Sweet scent. No, you're already the sweetest bear. Yeah. 
Yes, people are doing that to each other. <laughs> That's funny. When it targets an enemy, it charges furiously. Will whip in its body with its long tails. That is really funny. So, if I if I played as a green bear and I ran into a pile of a, uh, oh go away, a pile of normal bears, I could trick people into thinking they found a shiny, which is so mean, but also really funny. Torkoal's attack bell. I don't want to fight you. Oh my god, let me out! This Tauros is pissing me off now, isn't he? Hang on. Let's get out of here. Doesn't affect Goldingo. Now run. Get me away from this thing. Its very presence is destroying the, the frame rate. Make a TM. Okay. Hang on, what do we got? I'm close to the 12K. I should stop by the club room. Okay. I should also stop by a healing machine. So let's go ahead and go to the canyon one. I think it's like the dinosaur mouth, right? That's where I haven't been. Let's do this. Let's go. Let me go ahead and heal. There it is. No nurse joys needed here. They don't even need a Pokemart guy. They just put vending machines. Oh, is that where I can find Cleaver too? Sick, I need that. Um, I should set a marker. Ella kid. Yeah, I got all this. So, chat, you want to place bets for when I'll find another shiny? Because my shiny luck off stream was pretty funny, but I had a lot of good shiny luck before. It's funny, I kept posting in the Discord being like, I keep finding shinies. And then everyone's just like, dude, I can't find a single one, and I've been playing like twice as long as you. It's really unfortunate. This isn't even the game I wanted to- oh, hey, hang on. There it is. Alright, Cleaver's here. I like how Cleaver looks closer to Scyther than Scizor did. That Scrafty just disappeared. Oh, there it is. Quick ball it. I think Cleaver looks cool. One. Two. Ah. Now, it's part rock type, so false swipe wouldn't be very great for it. Hmm. I'll see how much Zen Headbutt is. If it kills it, it kills it. Yeah, I killed it. I thought maybe it had better physical defense. Okay. We'll see it again. Probably easier to quick ball it anyway. Now then. I wonder if this is the evolution stone. Hang on, what, isn't it also faster to just open up a picnic and close it? I believe that does it. Pack up and go. This has been a fun stream game, yeah. Still want to see how long it'll take me to finish it today. New cleaver spawn? Not yet. There's a Scyther, there's a Golurk. Another Golurk. Let me see. Floatstone. Hello, Scyther. Another Scyther. Hmm. Let's keep climbing for now. We can find Cleaver again soon. I want to get Cranidos. If someone... I'll catch an extra Cranidos if somebody needs, um... If someone needs Cranidos and is get, can give me shield on, I can do that for you right quick. 
Hold up. Okay, that one was a lizard. Weaver is actually crazy rare. Oh, come on. Damn it. I wouldn't have killed it if I didn't knew it was a rare spawn. It looked like I just found the place it's supposed to show up. Oh, well. Anyway, let me know how the audio is. All that good stuff. There's Scyther. Scyther. Don't think I found the spot with Kranidos. And then also has Skarmory. Let me take a look. Where am I at? It's one of the high peaks I know has it. That was where Cleaver was, right? Yeah. Now I've already gotten over here. We'll find him. Drayton's the only Elite Four member I got left to fight. A whole bunch of them right there. That's the dino face. We're going over there. That's that. Hang on. I think the other place I'm looking for had a waterfall, didn't it? Yeah, which is probably like around here. No, that's not it either. It's probably like the highest peak somewhere then, isn't it? Can't quite tell from the map where the waterfall is supposed to be. Oh, there's a lake there too with it? Hold up. It's a high green peak. Oh, is it this one? I thought I'd been to this landmass a bunch of times. Well, let's pass by the cleaver area again. I was looking at the rugged terrain only. Now, Pokedex playthroughs are really fun because it's just better than just mashing through all the battles for a bit. Because if I want to do the battles, I do like an actual challenge run with a certain team from the start. Well, I gave up my cleaver chance. We'll stop by here over and over, though. Don't worry. Aha! There's a waterfall. Wow. Have I just never stumbled on this area yet? I guess I haven't. Oh. Didn't see that. I don't know what shiny Sinistee looks like. Um, this little area here? This looks comfy. Oh, hey. Oh, you little friends. And one in the shade. I know what you're thinking, but no. It's just in the shade. Oh, there's Skarmory. Let's get him. Skarmory assumes the weird floating position. It's a little silly. Oh, hey, Axie's there, too. And there's Skarmory behind the tree. Getting ready for work. You can train me shield on if you want real quick. I don't have Kranidos yet, though. Hold up. You don't have to, like, delay yourself if you need to go. Oh, I see Kranidos back there. No. This would be the perfect place to run around as a teddy. It's sturdy, heavy-looking iron body is actually thin and light, so it can fly at speeds of 180 miles per hour. Okay, you already have Kranidos anyway. All kinds of Pokemon. Okay, if you want to give me a link code right quick, I can get your shield on. I'll just grab this thing then. Throw a quick ball at him. We're filling up pages. So far, this day, I got Tauros and Skarmory. Okay, thank you. This thing is gonna take itself out.
I want the dinosaur. There we go. Brandados was caught. Bear leveled up. It lived in jungles around 100 million years ago. It used its skillful headbutts to combat Aerodactyl. Bumping heads. Okay. Let me go ahead and go to the Poke Portal. Link trade. Set link code. I said set link code. 358. 2858. There we go. Let's get that. I would like a shiny Cranidos, so I like the red dino. According to this, you don't have these Pokemon in your decks. So I'll just do that right quick for you. I don't know if you care. I don't need the Lapras. I only caught it while doing a Blueberry quest. Okay, that it for now. I don't want to hold you up. Works for you? Excellent. Yay, Lapras! That's what the highlight means in trades? Yeah, it does. It means the other person doesn't have it. It's not really explained, so it's kind of hard to figure out if you don't know. Thank you for the shield on. I haven't finished the story yet. I plan to. It is outstandingly armored. As a result, it has no particular need to battle with others and can spend its time feeding on grass and berries. Oh, that is so me. Can just chill, eat berries, and sleep all day. Okay. That's that. Now let's have a look around this other area. Maybe we'll bump into a shiny. Only Skarmory and Kranidos I needed here? Probably. Those poor Mincinos probably get eaten by the Skarmory. Okay, looks like that. Is it? I can't even remember what shiny Skarmory looks like. But I'm sure I'll notice... If one looks different. Swablu are up here. We already got all those. What are my quests right now? Make a TM, sneak up on a Pokemon, terrestrialize. There's you. Hang on. Before we go to Drayton, let's see if I can get a, get a Cleaver again. This is a neat little spot. Can't believe I missed this before. Oh, it's the Evo. Wanted the item. Dragon Terra Shard. Oh, right. It's like more bronze looking and green. That is what Shiny Skarmory looked like. I remember that now. Come on. Hello, Scyther. Hello, Ella Kids. Hello, Buzz. Darn it. I really regret taking out that cleaver. I should have just hit it with false swipe like I wanted. Maybe if I run back and forth, one will just pop in. I love all the little random Unova notes packed into everything. Nope, don't see it. Good golly. Well, let's check the Terra Den. It'll be easy to get back up here when I need to, though. What's this? Inkay. I still need Malamar. Which I'm not even sure I can evolve without, like, undocking my switch, which will mess up the capture card, which is a little annoying. So I might just trade for Malamar, to be honest. 
Because I don't think you can do the upside down gyro thing unless it's in handheld mode only. I don't think there's anything else left inside of the cave here. Magneton. You got yours from a raid? Yeah, that's also an idea to go for. Okay, Magnemite there. Electric terrain. More little moles. Okay. Let's head on over. Let's give our boy a fight. Still gotta hunt for the starters and all that, too. The evolution of Malamar is buggy. I had to turn the handheld upside down three times before it evolved. Maybe it's the gyro. I mean, it would be... The gyro is built into, like, the, um... The Joy-Cons, right? Not, like, the Switch itself, so... I don't know. I just remember in Sword and Shield, it would not work in Docked. I had to put it in handheld mode for the damn thing to work. It's really finicky. It, it straight up needs to just be pointing down. Oh, that is so annoying. The 3DS had it perfectly fine. Okay, so we're gonna go into this battle, and we're gonna bring a Moral Support Bear in the back. Any objections to the Moral Support Bear? Didn't think so. And we're gonna keep using... Ah, I feel like Torkoal and Ogre Pond Fire are good doubles partners, and I want an excuse to use the turtle, so why not? Egg on the Elite Trial. Welcome to the Polar Plaza, where the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're Asprey, right? One of the BB League challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take the trial. You willing to pay? Yeah, sure. Whoa, hold up. My friend here gets in free. Are you sure, Drayster? The rules say... Just char charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, yeah? That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming by. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Well, that was nice. He saved me 50 BP. Kind of need that. Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. Nah, it's basically the exact same battle court as the other plazas. Just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble, so let's hop to it. I call my elite trial terrarium only battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet these two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets these conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun would it be if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through? I feel so called out right now. Unbelievable. How dare you? <laughs> he knows. Hello, thank you for the raid there, Big Yellow. Appreciate it. <laughs> he knows! He's calling everyone out. Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. What do you say, bud? Ready for my elite trial? Does that mean I have to, um... Does that mean I have to do his uh, actual battle with that as well? Hmm. Ready for the trial? Maybe later. Well then. Let's get a party going. The turtle meets the conditions, however. I'm overthinking this. The battle's probably going to be piss easy, but still. He gave me a challenge. I'm going to do it. I want a chance to use some of those shinies, so that's why I just brought that. So hang on. First. Sorry, this is going to take a little extra prep, but he's challenging me. He's calling me out. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to give him a ch We're going to give him a fight. First, you guys even get to see, it, see a shiny evolution now. Check it out. Man, 
pale lion with red eyes. Look at that. Now then. I don't EV train any of these, so I don't mind them getting some uh, EXP, you know what I mean? Let's do this. Trap and she's evolving. I gotta give them moves and stuff too. Oh, is that what the shiny looks like now? Well, that's cool. Dragon breath. Sure for a second, I guess. Oh, you already have all this? Damn. They don't need to really be a level 100, but I do need to get their levels within like the 80 range, I feel. Blue fly gone. Ooh, that blue is a bit more pronounced now. I like that. Dragon claw. Yeah, it's probably better. Um, special... Okay, I don't need... My nature is bad for special attacks, so let's get rid of Earth Power. Now, let's get that shiny muck that I lost the other day. I found the Grimer last stream, but off stream I found a muck and it used Memento, so I couldn't catch the shiny. And now I got it. Look at that. You don't have to fight Drayden with this team, right? But I kind of want to now, because he's challenging me. He's busting my chops. What do you say, bud? Ready for the Elite Trial? Yeah. I spent an enormous amount of time. That's your cue, underlings. Come on out. Hello, I'm ready. Let's go. My trial's about skill, but it's chill. Take at it whatever play pace you want. You want to dive right into battle in your three club mates? Go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrarium catching Pokemon first? No problem. So go on, get out there and chill it up. Good luck, everyone. Give it your best shot. Well, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I'm going to do it now. Make the stream go longer, Mr. Streamer. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones. Ready to battle me? Yes. Who gray. Good luck to both of us. All right, baddie, let's battle. We got, bro. Craig, the student. Double shinies. Now then. We got everything active, so we'll heat wave anyway. Will they have berries? Probably not. Let's do this and switch. The sun is active, buddy. Oh, here it comes. That's fine, I got my overheat. Now the heat wave will finish you both off. Critical hit on Bastiodon. This track is such a bop. Oh, that was it? Okay. Your Pokemon are like gems. Yeah, I know. They're shiny, aren't they? I spent so long putting them together, I'm gonna use them. Oh, uh, they're not gonna heal me? That's annoying. Hang on, I can just go downstairs for that, can't I? Which direction was it at? Oh, there it is. Perfect. I don't have to use this team, but why not? Maybe I'll do it, do it for the people that are probably upset that I was steaming everything with Ogre Pawn. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Sure. Hey, you're on.
This trial is at least just battle stuff. Winter the student. Haha, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Well, I think we all know how this is gonna go. Heat wave. Do that to Dugong. I don't like Dugong in the Elite Four. Now get out of here. Everybody gets a little bit. Uh, chat, honestly, I haven't been looking. What level are their Pokemon? <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. I can see why Drayton likes you. You got money. Killable level, surely. Was it like 75? Okay. Considering, like, none of these guys even have any EVs, which is probably expected for this, let's be honest, so... You know, Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her. Ready for a shock? Okay. I know streamers. Here we go. Zap, pew, pew, pew. Funny, she's not responded to your DMs if you talk like that. Come on. Ray, the student. Zepstrika and Magnezone. Well, another easy one. Level 68 on each one here. Okay. Make sure this one dies, I guess. Yeah, getting a Pokemon with Earthquake, you're, you're pretty much good for most of these three, aren't you? I've been peer pressured, chat. I have to use these six Pokemon. It, it, Drayton just loves manipulating people. And he it worked. It worked on me. Because now I have to use... Oh, right, Sturdy. I have to use this six Pokemon because he's going to accuse me of using my beefy mons. It's not right. I love this part of the track. Oops. I was mashing A button not realizing that was happening. My bad. So manipulated. That was electrifying, all right. And I guess I gotta restore my overheat PP. So that makes one, two, three. Nice, you went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. Yeah, we did it! Let's go team. All right, my League Club assistants retreat on the double. Goodbye, good battle, see ya. Aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Now then. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. Guess you're still using the party you put together for my challenge, huh? He's he's calling me out. Go ahead, take a sec to change it up. Unless you want to dive right into bat, Bro! <laughs> he's calling me out. I have to do it. I can't even go back to heal now. Fine. All right. It's on. I can't- I can't back out now. Hmm. Here should be good. He manipulates everyone into, like, using freshly caught Pokemon. No wonder he's the top trainer here. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you're in battle. And I realized I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real, though. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it. I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me normally, like you would anybody else, Asprey. 
Here's the 100% Dracer truth. I'm so psyched, I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling? Nice and easy. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. Now what's he got? Can't earthquake those. Or, uh, really hit them with fire moves, either. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see, see me ugly cry. Okay. Hmm. He's probably gonna earthquake himself, so... I'm gonna do this. I set up my son. I don't know if that Dragonite's got Marvel Scale or not. Or is it Marvel Scale? Or is that the... That, that's the Milotic one, isn't it? I don't remember the difference. Multi-scale, Marvel scale, is it? Okay. Knew it. Tauros has taken some crap here, but that's okay. It lost HP, it's life orbed. Tauros is probably gonna go down. Hmm. So I'm gonna try this. Just hit it once for now. Breaking swipe? Oh, crap. Attack fell. Lost HP. Damn. Whoa, not a lot of types can make me eat a super effective hit. When the ice ice type comes out, you're gonna be mad. Critical hit. Woo, that was beautiful. Seems like luck itself has a soft spot for you. I broke the multi-scale and Dragonite now. Ice spinner. What's that? What is that? Wasn't aware that was an attack. Sceptile. Uh oh. I guess that's Dragon in Kalos. Quick question Blizzard's accuracy goes down in Sun, right? I'm almost positive it's, it does that now, but I'm um, just wondering. <laughs> um, 80 base power clears away terrain. That's what Ice Spinner is? Okay, because I don't think I've seen that. Don't believe so. Am I thinking of something else? Or does it only get an accuracy buff in hail and snow? I guess it's snow now. Hmm. I'm worried about the dividing power, though, but I'm gonna go for it. Leaf Storm. Critical hit. Thinking of Solar Beam and Rain. Oh, maybe. That, that is kind of how that works. Maybe I'm thinking of Hurricane. Oh, it had a Yashe Berry. That's fine. Hurricane and Thunder get an accuracy penalty in Sun, Sandstorm, and Snow, but Blizzard doesn't have any penalty. Oh, okay, I think it is Thunder's Thunder and Sunny Day I'm thinking of. Yeah, doesn't Thunder go down to 50 accuracy? Okay, now's the time. Hmm, considering Grass and you got a nice move, Torkoal should be fine to Heat Wave spam now. He doesn't have anything for Ninetales, yeah. Hmm. Might want to save the Choice Scarf Pyroar. Okay, we'll Heat Wave. And we'll Freeze Dry you. 
Oh, damn. He had an out. Yashe Berry plus multi scale is nasty. He wasn't screwing around. That's half the team, I think. Okay, freeze dry is good, but I don't think I can outspeed him. Shoot. Best I can do is heat wave here. Mmm, I could actually I could just dazzling gleam, that's right, but am I fast enough? I didn't even think about which one to Terra. Might have to do that for the last one. Go for the ultimate choice, Scarf Overheat. Iron Head. Yep, yeah, I'm down. Axorus probably pack an Earthquake. Kingdra used Hurricane. Oh, nice. The sun is affecting that. Don't suppose I could burn you. Terra type is fire. Terra type is dark. If I Terra Muck... I'll probably... Hang on, if I use Terra on Muck, it probably will be immune to Earthquake, because... No, would he Earthquake if he's in doubles, though? Hmm. It'd be bad to bring out Pyroar right now. I'm supr Wait, the Kingdra's using Hurricane instead of a water move. The sun lowers the power of water moves. Yeah, maybe teaching the Muck Ice Punch would have been smart. I didn't think about that. If I lose, I can do that. Because now I'm using this team. Like, if I Terra my um, Pyroar, I can go for the ultimate overheat to kill whatever the hell's left after the Muck dies, I think. My last ditch effort is to send the freaking lion at them. So I just gotta take them out right now. Okay. Let's heat wave and hmm. whatever I do to the Haxorus, if the heat wave hits, it should finish him off. Oh, he should die, so I don't need to use knockoff. Oh, he did use earthquake. Kingdra rain danced. Oh crap. Avoided the attack. At least the Haxorus went down. Hang on, if I switch Torkoal to Pyroar and then swap back in, I can negate the rain, assuming Kingdra will be dead by then. What the he Oh, that thing. I don't even know what type that is yet. Fantastic. Still Dragon Steel. Am I just gonna sacrifice you now, huh? I may have already lost this one. These are the last two Pokemon, and he's gonna tear it. To he's gonna tear it into pure dragon, I think. Okay, then. <sighs> Unless maybe I can get, like, a burn or something on him. Whatever it's holding, let me not try and knock it off before I die. Now watch this dragon's blood boil. Arch, uh, Archaludon? Archaludon? Do you say it as Arch or Arc? I have no idea. I want to say Arch because it's like an Arch, uh, structure, right? Ready to get blasted to smithereens? I won't leave you anywhere to run. Uh oh. What is this? Absorb electricity. Bro, they made a new charge beam? That it gives you the buff before you attack? Oh, wow.
Yes, they did. You went pure dragon. I'm taking the Kingdra with me. No, it won't kill it. I'll try and take you with me. Hope Hydro Pump just misses. Outside of rain, it's a two-turn attack. Oh, it's, so it's like Skull Bash where the charge turn gives you a buff, right? I need to save Torkoal in the back and switch it out as soon as the Kingdra comes out. I have a plan now. However, I'm dead. My leads were pretty bad for this, but I can, I can beat him with this team. I can beat him. 12,000. You were overwhelmed by your defeats and ran away like a baby. Where am I going? Went back to a safe location, shielding your Pokemon from harm. I already was there, though. I got money. Okay, then. Hold up. Let me teach Ice Punch to the Muck. Maybe I could... No, I can't lead because that Flygon is absolutely going to go for... Um... Hmm... Hmm. That Flygon's gonna go for Earthquake. The Haxorus is gonna go for Earthquake. Let me see. Maybe I should give the Choice Scarf to the Flygon. It already consumed the Yashe Berry anyway. Hmm. First, let me go to the TMs. I need... Let's see. Can't learn Ice Fangs. Chilling Water. That's Water Move, though. Icy Wind. I should have the punches some there it is i got two i i toxic is not gonna work in this fight do i have an air balloon i don't think i do <laughs> i don't think i hey, maybe i can buy it from the machine i kind of doubt that but All this stuff right here. I can buy sandwich ingredients. No. The school store for BP. Damn it, that's too far away. I'm not gonna bother with that. I need my salty run back, bro. So let's see. We want to lead with you. Save Torkoal to outdrought that. Hmm. I'm not going to go all the way back to Mesagawa, Mesagaza or something. Put away held item. Choice Scarf used so we can hit his Dragonite. Sorry, his uh, Flygon, I should say. I'm in the wrong pocket again. What am I doing? What am I doing, chat? Choice Scarf, Choice Scarf. There it is. Now, what could we give to Pyroar? Maybe something that stops water, water attacks? I don't know. Or maybe something that uh, the berry for ground moves? Don't know. <laughs> give to a Shuka berry. No, 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 not, not to Flygon, for crying out loud. I don't have a mental, or want to use a mental herb anyway. Tauros really could use a different item, but I don't know what to give him. Maybe it could use a different attack, too. Can't learn the fangs or anything like that. Give an item to you. Yeah, mental herb is the one that snaps you out of infatuation, isn't it? I think I have power herb, but... Yeah, I got Power Herb right there. Float Stone makes you light, makes you fun. I don't think we need to worry about Snowballs. That's pretty useless. Mm, I guess I could give it the Amulet. I 
I have no idea what to give Tauros. Ooh. I don't have a vest. Let me see here. Barely have anything for it. I don't have a silk scarf. I, didn't, I wasn't carrying any held items because I didn't really need them in this. Hmm. I guess I could just give it a citrus berry. Good old one of those. Sure. All right, round two, buddy. Ready to take me on? Yeah. He called me out. I have to fight him like this. I can't quit now. Yeah, yeah. I know. You're thinking how cool I am. I know I'm cool. That's why I'm gonna win! I didn't even see what level his Pokemon are. <laughs> it hides the levels when it's doing animations and all that, so I don't even notice. Fight me, boy. Now let's deal with him. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me ugly cry. Okay, we lowered his attack. That should be good enough for now. Hmm. In case it doesn't finish him. Okay, it didn't. No problem. We'll let Tauros finish it off. It's going for breaking swipe. Annoying. Attack fell. Attack fell. There we go. I took a bit of damage, but I got my Citrus Berry. I'm not worried. Tauros can tank a hit. Tailwind on you. Of course. Okay, here comes the Kingdra. Let's keep focusing on that thing for now, I'd say. Ah. Oh. Yeah, here comes an Ice Beam. Hasn't rain danced yet. Here comes Ice Spinner. The Earthquake users aren't out yet, unless Dragonite will do it. Good. Hmm. Is it time to send out you? I don't think they have the, the counter moves for you yet, so I could just go Dazzling Gleam. Haxorus is the one with the Iron Head. If I can take out Kingdra and Haxorus comes out, I can swap to Torkoal and eat that iron, iron Head easily. Let's break that scale. Let's go at extreme speed, whatever. Dude, it really wants my Tauros gone, Jesus. Damn, that barely did anything. I'll have to do this then. That's the case. Maybe just go for Blizzard and also Ice Punch Dragonite now. Hmm. Damn it. He's going extreme speed. Please hit. Come on! Of course it doesn't hit the only one that matters. Now the berry's wasted on this. Oh, I froze it. Uh, that's good. That's at least something. 
Tailwind petered out. Good. Hang on. He'll go second, actually, so maybe I can... Dragonite is frozen solid. Good. Tinker's going rain dance now. Don't no! Why does it keep missing? Oh, that's so lame. I should have had that. That Dragonite should be gone now. Okay, it's gonna go for Earthquake, no doubt. Yep. Doesn't affect Dragonite. Unfortunately, I'm kind of screwed. <sighs> Chat, I don't think I can win with this team. They kind of suck. They kind of really suck. Uh... Well, at least that worked. And I poisoned it. <laughs> Axorus was poisoned. And I knocked off his Focus Sash. Well, that's not the best thing to do, but it's okay. Well, whoever comes out now has basically eaten Earthquake, which is crappy. Come on, Torkoal, I know you can do it. I don't believe in your Pokémon. I believe I only have so much time to stream today, and I don't want half of it to be on this battle. Okay. Go Ice Punch on that. He's using a team of pseudo-legendaries. Yeah, that's pretty fair. <laughs> he is. Now let's do this. Come on. Don't fall for his manipulation tactics. I know. Okay. Can this get off the screen? There we go. Now I'm gonna have to Terra. I'm not even at the end yet, damn it. He doesn't want you digging into your stash of beefy Pokemon, then proceeds to spam pseudo legendaries, yeah. I'm not choice locked anymore, so this should be enough. Sun boost. Flygon's not a pseudo. Well, it's sure as hell annoying as one right now. Here. Oh. Dragonite's getting pumped. I didn't realize this was a move. Eat crap! Whoo, that was beautiful. There you go. Eat all that crap. Hang on, maybe I can still get him. No target. I need this thing to die. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. He's gonna go pure dragon. Do I just go for the instant overheat? I feel like I need to kill it. He doesn't have range, so he has to charge. It has no special defense. Oh yeah, let's get his ass. Never mind, I take it back. I believe in the team again. I believe in the team again. I'm getting toothpaste guy. It's wearing an assault vest? Are you serious? Of course it is! 
Okay, then. Ready to get blast the smithereens. It's charging. You don't get to attack this turn. It's sunny, not rainy. Get him. Ooh! That was a crit? Damn it. Uh-oh. Okay. One more hit. Tailwind petered out. Hang on, I can maybe make him flinch. for the lion. There we go. See, I knew we could do it. That's what I'm talking about. Cat wins. There we go. Now, no one can say I swept everything with just fire ogre pawn. That was ridiculous, man. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? Sure. Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. Elite Four is Drayton defeated. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. Gotta go grab that. Wait here a second. Waiting. Sorry for the hold up. I'm back. That's the BB League Elite Four all beaten. You schooled every Elite one of us. Here's your reward, like I said. Dragon cheer. User raises its allies' morale with the draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of crits. This rouses dragon-type moves more. I guess I should have cleaned it, but what's a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all the late four of us. So you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. You really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. You really got Asprey on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. Are you sure putting a lot of effort into helping... Or, sorry, you're, you sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Asprey out. Who wouldn't want to help out a new student? It's got to be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Ugh. Hold up. No, it's fine. I actually need that Moo uh, Dragon Cheer in order to get the new Diplin evolution. Okay. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end, Asprey. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. Finally time. Pumped for ya. I'll have to go sign you up at the front desk, get your championship match going. No sense waiting around, let's go. Uh, wait, do I have to do this right this second? Okay, good. Oh, boy. Face off against Kieran. That's the next big goal. Hang on, let's change the team after I heal them. Okay, good. Well, that was a fun battle. <laughs> you found a five-star Malamar raid. Yeah, sure, I could do that. I could do that, Fuzzy. Let's do it. Just get me the code, and we'll do it. It's flying type, so Iron Hand should be okay here. I hope. Yeah, let me just organize my team a bit. I, 
I didn't have to use the terrarium only Pokemon, but I wanted to. Just like, I got manipulated by Drayden, that's all I could say. Oopsie. Don't do that there. Now I need the Torkoal still. Put the fly gone away. Shiny Muck. Actually, no, the Muck was here. Pyroar. And now I put you guys away. God, six Smeargle in this game is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, you're not connected to the internet, so it's gonna go away when you connect. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, sorry about that. It's all right. I, I do that all the time. Yeah, let's put the teddy bear there. Now let's get my main team. So I'm told that Kieran has the highest average level out of, like, the entire series right now. So going in with my level 100s is not even, like, that much of an advantage, from what I'm told. Let me see. Let me just show that I care and put my bear down there. Okay, yeah, let's put that there. You still have it? Wait, it's still there after you connected? Okay. Either you rolled the same Pokemon, or they changed how it works for the Terrarium, who knows. Okay, I'll join. You gotta leave, you gotta leave for now, that's alright, catch you later, friend. I see Golem there, 6-star, though. By the way, how do you evolve, um, into the new, uh... Dinosaur building. I don't remember its goddamn name. It's, it escapes me all of a sudden, even though I just bought it. Okay, let's do this, bro. QJ... 9... TBS. I might still honestly try and upload this as one, one VOD if I can. Oh. Communication failed. Alright, let's try that again. Did I put it in wrong? QJ9... T B S. She's just been doing that. Buy something for it at the, the school store, is it? Change Pokemon. Iron Hand should be okay. Now, where did I put it? There it is, Mekiyama. Excellent. I'm glad y'all have been enjoying this. <laughs> Hit that. Like I said, when I streamed the Teal Mask, I really wasn't sure, like, how well it would do, because, like, everybody's playing the Pokemon DLC right now. Not a lot of people really want to watch it. Unless it's, like, the big, big guys, you know what I mean? Uh, 190 Pokedex completion unlocks the item. Okay, we'll get that easily. I think I'm close to it. So, without spoiling, by the way, how much, like, percentage-wise... How, how far in the story am I done? Because there's definitely more after Kieran, I imagine. Okay. I'm guessing there's stuff I really don't want to see spoiled. Like, uh, the end of the base game. That's something you didn't see coming, for sure. Kieran is, like, three quarters of the way through. Okay. No problem, then. Let's take care of this, then. Let's get some Pokedex entries, and then we'll go take him out. To be fair, I purposely slowed myself down because Drayton challenged me. I, how many of you fought Drayton with uh, the team you were supposed to put together? Did you did you give up? Did you take his challenge? I wonder. Boop, boop, boop. You did and lost twice. I lost once and I almost lost faith during the second one. Didn't, because you already built a team for the DLC. You could have, though. Alrighty. Now, let me finally do my second attack. Can I do my second attack? I haven't even gotten to start. Come on. And there goes my belly drum. Psycho cut.
So much for a plus five attack boost. Hey. Yeah, let's catch the silly thing. Catch? Yeah, sure, throw a dust ball at it. He found a shiny executor and execute ten minutes within ten minutes of each other right away. Damn. Nice. At least I got to use some of the shinies I caught in a real battle. That was fun. I did not I have not been carrying around any um I've not been finding like or carrying any like held items because I wasn't doing strats like that. Really, I should have. It's too late now. Ogre Pawn and friends, or it will be fine for the rest of the game. I think with the addition of the DLC, doing challenge runs for Scarlet and Violet might actually be a bit more fun. Like, weren't people saying that Nuzlocke in the base game is piss easy? Especially if you use uh, Fue Coco. Because I heard that, like, uh, Skeledurge just slaughters everything with Shadow Ball and Fire and Flamethrower, right? Or, what or whatever its uh, signature move is. Malamar's data has been added to the decks. Its hypnotic powers are dangerously strong. Anyone who falls under Malamar's control loses their memories surrounding the event. All right. Torch Song. That was a that's what it was. Excellent. Yeah, unless you, like, go battle, like, Grusha or First or something, you're not gonna have problems. But in the case of, uh, using Smeargles, it's not like I can abuse TMs. I can use the experience candies, though. That'll help. Thank you for the- yeah, thank you for the uh, extra raid there, Fuzzy. That helps a lot. Let's go, go, go. Now that we've done that, I thought I wasn't recording for a second and had a heart attack. Let me ch take a look at my Pokedex. What are we at? I'm at 154. Damn, I gotta get closer. I got a Love Ball. That's a protector. If you find any raids for um, stuff like Rhyperior or Golem, or Alolan Golem, I should say, let me know. However, I think what would help if I went to... I should go unlock the starters, shouldn't I? Hold up. Don't have enough BP yet. For 1,200, but... Hmm. I could go check for Cleaver again right quick. Let's go see if we can do that. He will finish the DLC today, he says, Copium. The Tartar... The, sorry, the Starters. Not Tartar Sauce. The starters take up a lot of the decks, I imagine. How's my team looking here? Good. Opening up the map here, let me just go ahead and mark the cleaver location again. And... You know what I should do, actually? Hang on. We don't need to do any battles for a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to this box here. I'll just put Goldengo and Meowskerado away for a little bit, so I can take these fellas, because they just need to level up right quick. Shield on's level 36 here. Got it from your diamond save file, you said. Get their evolutions as we do this. Let's go for a ride. We will update everything here. I know I don't have to unlock the starters all at once, but having enough BP would be useful before I bother going to the club room. That is where you do it, right? The club room? I see Scyther. Hang on. The easiest way to do this would just be to abuse the picnic respawns, right? Just do that. I'm gonna wait for the load animation, though. Are all the requests available, or do I have to do previous requests first? I hope not. There's Scyther. Magneton. Ant Lizard. 
Yes, I'm at my destination, but it's not what I'm looking for. Come on, Cleaver, where are you at? You were here before. And I gave up on you. Didn't realize it'd be that rare. What is that over there? Oh, it's okay, the evolution. Picnic time. Try it again. They're all available immediately. Okay. Come on. Spawns have refreshed. I see him popping. I see a Scytha. But I don't see what else I want. There's Golurk. Darn it. Can I even pick up the item to evolve Scyther here? That would also be useful, right? What is it called? It's like Black agu Eid or something like that? I don't remember the name of the stone. I assume it's the same kind, but I don't think I've picked it up. God, I need to get Slowpoke and Slowking. Augite? Uh, uh, Augite or something like that? Lodestone. Everstone. Scythers, Scythers. For the hell of it, I could use it on the shiny Scyther I picked up. It's a buzz. I assume this would be the region to find it. There's Golurk. Don't think you can get it in this game? Really? Am I only able to just do... I'm, I'm talking about the DLC. I know you can, can't get it in the base game. Cleaver's here. You would imagine that the item can spawn now. Come on, Cleaver. You used to be cool. Now you won't even show up for a fight. How could you do this? Bow. Let me get up here. I should probably do some surprise trade, shouldn't I? If I walk far away from the thing... You know what? Sure, let's try a surprise trade. Maybe that'll be fun. Get a surprise Pokemon, because it's fun. I like having fun, don't you? Where's my bunny box? Three bunnies to a good home. Sure, sure. I'm gonna trust people to be good moments for once. Let's see what they give. Something good, probably. That'd be real nice. Sending score bunny to Alexander. What do you got for me, Alexander? Anything cool? Maybe, please? An Eevee! Is it bread? Or did you just catch that thing in the backyard? Looked it up. Apparently no one has found the black stone yet. It might not even be in the game. Damn, so the only way to get Cleaver outside of tra uh, transferring the legends is to just catch the wild one. That's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Why couldn't they just put that in? We can't get Ursaluna either. Only the Blood Moon one. It's... okay, yeah, it's bread. Just got some. Whoopity dingle do. I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna see a cleaver. And then you're all gonna laugh. How you could somehow think I couldn't find it. Come on, cleaver. I'm so upset I let that one run away. I'm so upset. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a, an easy spawn because this is like its location. Because it looks like it's surrounded by the type of stone it probably needs to evolve. Come on. You're not spawning. I see Scyther. All right, picnic refresh. Magnemite and friends over there. Uh, 
Levo leveling up Scyther in this location. I don't think there's any locations uh, Pokemon, period, for this now. I don't think that works. Okay. They don't even let you evolve Magneton to Charge Stone Cave. All right. Were, were you able to do that in Gen 5? Is that how you um, evolve Nosepass and Magneton? I didn't think about that. Oh, there it is. No! Oh, give me a break. No, come back! No! No! Come back! Please! Where'd it go? Come here. Surprise, Golet. I was so worried that it was gone. I was so worried. Did you see that crap? How did... How was there even a Golet in there? Okay, cool. I got Cleaver. I got Cleaver now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. I was terrified. Show that you care. Level up your teddy bears. Metal Burst. How about you uh, sit there and not burst at all? Parts of its body turn to stone when evolved thanks to an extremely rare ore found in volcanic areas. Okay. So the stone still does exist. You see. Send a box. I think Cleaver looks pretty cool. I haven't caught Blitzel yet. And now we can get Shield on evolution. You can't evolve it. Sucks to suck. Nasty Dawn. Oh boy. While it can guard against any sort of attack over on the front, it is left without with re recourse when attacked from behind. Move block? Nah. The panic in my voice when I thought I wasn't going to be able to catch that cleaver. Okay, then. Let's open up my boxes. Uh, there's nothing else here I need to evolve for the decks, I'm pretty sure. Right? No, I have all these evos here. Hold up a second. How do you evolve this? You need an item, right? And I think, hang on. I need something for Diplin, don't I? Where did I put my Diplin? Uh, somewhere back when we were doing Diplin, Diplin. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I could become a Cleffa. That can be silly. Diplin, Diplin. Uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? I have to go... Oh, there it is. I think... Yeah, I got it from a raid, didn't I? Mark this box. Dip Diplin is level up when it knows Dragon Cheer. Thank you. Okay. I'm not trying to rush anything. Although, I'm just a little bit worried, because I... Ideally, it's best for the algorithm to upload a DLC stream as one gigantic thing, like with Teal Mask, but... Because if you split it up, the second part just gets, like, no views at all, and then it dies in the algorithm. Especially nowadays, how YouTube is. What am I doing? I need the TMs. 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 Dragon Cheer. Get rid of double hits. So, we'll just keep it in the party for a second. Uh, Duraludon needs a metal alloy, which can be bought at the BB Academy store for 300 BP. Or I get a free one for 190 Pokedex entries. Yeah, we'll do that then. Hang on. Now that we got Cleaver, I'm gonna go get Blitzel, which should be in the savannah. Uh, somewhere, chilling somewhere in the fields. And there's also a freebie in Charge Stone. You can look around for it. I probably will edit out some stuff, like the half hour I spent, um... Editing my team for that for the Drayton fights. We've got little corners here and there. Now then, let's see if we can find Blitzel. Show me your flower. Hi, Roar. 
Right on. I see lots of these lines in the savannah, but I don't know where Blitzel is supposed to be. If I open up the map, maybe it'll show me nearby. Not here, clearly. What's my bl current thing here? Give my Pokemon a nice washing. Ah, oh, damn it, that's annoying. Do that one a bit. That's a deerling. Don't they hang around the water? I hope. There's a lot of wild Pokemon crammed into the terrarium, so it feels like a lot of them don't cycle through as much. Never see Mandibuzz, now I do. Scizor. How's it going, Mandibuzz? There's a lot of Mandibuzz here now, ain't there? Don't think they're over here, but I can reset the reset the route. Take it, hang on, show me your flowers. Any pink flowers? No, you're all free to go for now. Anyone here? Is there a particular spot for them? Hang on. Blitzel's far to the right of the savanna. Hold up. Let's try going here. Okay, no problem. Jump scare, game crash. I bumped into the little baby lion. It looks like a plush toy, doesn't it? I gotta run. It's good to be Ogre Pond again. You know, what you, you know what we should do? In a little bit, I should play as a Cleffa just for the hell of it. Look at Happiny. You can become the demon. Become the imposter. Infiltrate their ranks. I caught Zebstrika from a raid, I think. But I haven't caught Blitzel. Ow. See if anything new new pops up along the way. Right, I already feel like my voice getting a little tossed out from me uh, freaking out over the over the golet. That's okay. That's Rabska. Oopsie. Perfect. Do all you guys have the DLC? Or are you guys waiting for like some of you waiting for the holidays to get it? I often wonder. Actually, hang on. When you buy the teal mask, you get this one as well, right? Like, they have to be gotten in the bundle. Oh, it's Giraffe Rig. I was wondering what the hell that was. Okay. I see Giraffe, so different Pokemon. Yes, yes. Okay. It's fun, but I don't really like the post-game grind of this game too much. Hold up. That's Tauros there. For me, I just felt like I was going from raid to raid and not really doing much. The DLC is a fun way fun way to just get more story and complete the decks, but... I mean, it's nice that now we can do six Smeargle next year, if I get to that. That'll probably be fun. One, two, three. Boop. Pretty sick. No Weebos yet. Its heartbeat generates electricity when Blitzel is surprised and its heart rate goes up. The voltage of its electricity also rises. Don't even have Scarlet Violet, so no. Okay. That's fair. Okay. As for other Pokemon to go catch... Is it just Evos, or now can I... See Crocodile hanging out there. Hang on, I need to give a Pokemon a quick washing. Let's do that right quick.
Let's watch the bear. Hello, little Teddy. How are you? Watch the bear! Gain battle points. Or blueberry points, sorry. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Do we need Kingdra? I think I do, actually. Kingdra's new to, bl to uh, the... To, ah, sorry, Blueberry Academy, I'm pretty sure. Bear points. Heck yeah. Teddy has been watched. We can continue our day. Lepaberry. That's yeah, a Smeargle. I'm pretty sure I need Kingdra. I think I was saying I need it last time. So yeah, I think I'll probably join you there. Let me just see if I see Horsey and Seedra here. Yep, I need Kingdra and Whimsicott. So, shoot me that raid. What star is it? Because if it's six star, I don't want to bother. Those, because... I feel like you always lose the six star raids to, like, one bad RNG roll. And, um... Mostly just lag, too. Five star. Let me see here. Go to the Poke Portal. Sorry, this menu's lagging now. Terror Raid. It's fighting. If it's five star, we should be able to just brute force it. Probably. Look at all that stuff. K. K. W. K. Or sorry, L. W. X. Oh, what am I doing? Waiting to join! I should change my Pokemon here. Um, if it's fighting type... I don't really have anything with Goldango, honestly. Really, I could just Iron Hands my way through it. Iron Hands is fully trained and ready for this. All ready to go. We should be able to just swarm it. Kill it easily. Defeat the Terra Pokemon within the time limit. Oh, my drinks are already mostly empty. I need to take a break soon. It has already been a couple hours today. Heck yeah. Watch it be shiny now. Now, I was hoping. I've never seen a shiny, um... Oh, you got a shiny Latios. Neat. I've never seen a shiny in a raid yet. It started to rain. Okay. Well, may as well just belly drum and then drain punch. Perfect. Ouch! Hitting it with the psychic moves will probably help the most. Okay, fake tears, making it weaker. Come on, load. Come on. Wait, well, you already took it out before I got a chance to attack it. Y'all are much better prepared for these than me. Any day now. I don't need a uh, Whimsicott. I can just give a stone to the Cottony. It's got Yawn. That hardly matters. It takes less time to do a raid and catch than it does to set up trading. Mostly. Because you have to trade it back, too. When you're doing evos like this. 
Now, hang on. I think the next thing I should go for is, um... I have... To How many of the uh, twigs do you need to gather in order to craft an item to uh, evolve into Galarian Slowking or Slowbro? Because I need two of those. Or one of each, rather. Eight for the, the cup. Fifteen for the crown. Okay. I think the area that has them is like the coast, right? There's actually a whole lot of ga Galarian Slowbro there. Or sorry, Slowpoke. Spicy Herba Mystica. Nice. We did it. We got the spice. It's very nice. It can only be found on the ground in the beach with the Slowpoke. Okay, then I should start farming those as soon as possible. It sleeps deep on the ocean floor to build its energy. It's said to cause tornadoes as it wakes. Okay, you ain't that powerful, Kingdra. Settle down. Can you find raids of Gallery and Slowpoke or Slowking? Maybe I should start checking my dens, too. I can invite people if I find one that's good. So, hang on. I think the coast that has it is, like, this one, right? I think so, anyway. I think it's around the plaza. The only ones you've seen have been limited to six-star raids, though. Okay. Let's do it. What am I missing for blueberry points at the moment? Make a TM, catch a water type. Okay. Pick these up. Genius feather. Yeah, slow, pick, slow poke is everywhere right now. You just catch a water Pokemon right quick. Extra blueberries. I'm so close to that 12k. Mold breaker. Ah, you know, remixes are so comfy. Slowpoke isn't water type. Oh, damn it, is he not? I thought at least Slowpoke was water. <laughs> Oops. Well, whatever. Galarian is pure psychic. Well, we learned a lesson and it cost me one quick ball. Not that it really matters. If you want a if you want a shiny slowpoke, it seems like it'd be piss easy for one to gather here, huh? It's gold, right? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen shiny Galar slowpoke in Emerald Rogue. Another good game I really should do more runs of. I only do it once in a while, but people really love those streams. It's fun to just put on like a five-hour like Pokemon Rogue-like vod when you're doing stuff. Or maybe, like, an 8 to 12 hour uh, stream VOD of the DLC, too. Shoutouts if you're watching on YouTube right now. Okay. I picked up as much as I could. He's over here. Looks like I'll have to come back later and look for more. Oh, another one popped in. I really like the background music in, for um, this place, as well as the the one in Kitakami. I felt that, like, the bass music in, in the first Scarlet and Violet's Overworld, it got really grating because, like, it was just, like, the same triumphant music over and over, and it just wore me down. It was too powerful for its own good. I got so sick of it. The one where it's like, da 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 over and over, you know what I mean? Hang on. There also wasn't unique cave music. Oh, yeah, there wasn't, was there? Oh, is that Whimsicott? It is. Let's catch this right quick, why don't we? They're fun, yeah. There's definitely a lot of games that they're only really... I only really want to do them once in a while, you know what I mean? Like, Pokemon Stadium is a big one for that. It's re Those streams do really well, and people love it, but if I had to keep playing rental-only stadium attempts every freaking day or week, I would lose my mind, because it's RNG hell. Remember the last big tournament I did? 
and there was like that aerodactyl or sorry that trainer who had his focus band activate like four or five times in a row and i was i was seething angry at that like what could i do right like the wind it can slip through any gap no matter how small it leaves ball of white fluff behind when you ha when you have that happen to you especially like an hour into a tournament you're like my god <laughs> oh hold up Chad, I found another shiny. Add it to the list. Can I not evolve it into the Alolan one? Hold up. I want my shinies and heal balls. I'm gonna go for it. I hope I can't self-destruct. Don't think so. Like Cleaver, you can only find the Evo in the wild, huh? I try to catch most of my shinies in the heal ball, because I like the pink heal ball. It's cute. Nice. Another shiny caught. Oh, nice. And we're going to see the new evolution for Diplin. If you touch one, executes eggs. Yeah, we already read this. Check out these golden eggs. Diplin's evolving. Oh, Hydrapple. That's cute. Let me guess. It's Grass Dragon, isn't it? <laughs> yes, we needed that again. Seven serpents live inside an apple made of syrup. The serpent is the center of the commander. Now, this is cool. Don't get me wrong. I love the concept in the name. But um, the other app like Applin evolutions like dude what is even the point of them now hydrapple's the same type and he's probably much stronger because like it goes Applin, diplin hydrapple and the other ones are just Applin and what's their faces now do they even do anything unique with their, with their abilities cool cool pokemon though i can't wait to get a card for it it's a syrup int Ooh, that's cute Fickle Beam, that must be the new one. Let's see. Shoots a beam of light to collect damage. Sometimes all the user's heads shoot. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Randomly double the move power? Bro. I don't really pay attention to newer Pokemon moves because I don't really need to, like, have a proper, like, competitive team built. But my god, some of these moves are just, like, what if, like, number just go burr sometimes? Maybe they all should all have their hydrapple form or something. 30% chance more specifically, huh? Some of these moves just sound so silly. Anyway, that's multiple Pokemon gained right there. Sick. Found a five-star rock Rhyperior. Yep, I need Rhyperior. We can do that. Let me just put my Execute in the shiny box so I don't misplace it. Okay, put Hydrapple away. But doing that should pass time so I can go get more uh, Galarian Twigs or whatever they are. Okay. Perfect. What does Shiny Hydrapple actually look like? I'm kind of curious. found a golem but it's six star yeah i don't want to do six star i might just have to bite the bullet and trade for um trade for that it's uh hang on a caramel apple is what it looks like nice what's this got that's uh middle evolution of of uh Solosis? duosion see here. I just love Alola. Good for you. If you got that code for the, um, what, what, what was it, Rhyperior? Yeah, I'll take that whenever you're ready. Inkay Ink. Not finding any twigs here on this side of the beach. Show me your flowers. Okay, you're free to go.
Where's the Slowpoke Beach again? That's over there. What about the little island, too? Does that have twigs on it, maybe? Oh, it is that? Okay. Let's get in there. No, only on the beach. Okay, then. Uh, what am I doing? Terror Raid. Terror Raid right there. It's Rock Rhyperior, so I guess I could just Drain Punch it. It is Rhyperior, though. Maybe I should just use Goldengo. And use the Steel-type move or something. Dude, I still need Hitmonchan. I haven't seen a Hitmonchan anywhere. Okay, PLR. I can just randomly catch a bunch of Tyrogues and hope they evolve into it. 6TV PLR. Let's go! Communicating. You guys will probably cover me anyway, but <laughs> all I really have is, um... I could just give, a, give Tyrogue a bunch of irons, that's true. I'm really overcomplicating the process, aren't I? What did you have, Goldengo? Make it rain. What did make it rain do again? I can't view the move in this screen, of course not. Whatever, I'll just use Goldengo and spam it. Make it rain's a special move, right? Pretty sure. All ready to go. I'm as ready as a teddy. Give it the defense feathers. Clearly, they should have made it so that higher special attack lets you evolve into Tyrogue, because as we all know, Hitmonchan is my favorite special attacker. In Gen 1 and 2, it is a 3. Even in when it even during the physical special split, Hitmonchan is still trash. Cool. Did you know that in Gen 2, Tyrogue has the same special attack as Hitmonchan? Tyrogue's if you teach Tyrogue the elemental punches, it hits as hard as a Hitmonchan would, so there's no point. Alright, lads, let's get him. Make it rain. Good. My special attack is falling, but you guys are probably going to kill it before I even get to my next attack anyway. Oh, Rock Wrecker is probably up an issue. Ow! How dare you bully the cheese. Wait a second, I just realized something. You can pick up items while in the synchro mode, right? What if I sent my bear to walk through the, uh, the beach, beating up uh, slowpokes? While picking stuff up. Or I could become Cleppa. Because why not? No problem. All I can do, lads, is just spam Make It Rain. You guys probably have it cover it better than me, though. Yeah, I heard Synchros can kill Shinies. But I think it would stick out there. Plus, I just found the Execute, so my Shiny luck is real. I have no special attack left. I'm betting all and all on you guys doing it. Just gotta wait to build up. Oh, that's not good. Well, there I go. Lost a bit of time. Alright, Perry has got a lot of physical defense. Oh, this isn't going good. There you go. Nice one. Now let's get this boy -o. Throw a nest ball because it's weak. Let's get that crap.
That's another trade Evo done without trading. Who's left? Except, I'm pretty sure I just need a Lolan Golem. I don't think there's any other ones I need to trade for at the moment. 300 base power, stored power with plus 6 special attack, absolute slaughter. Oh yeah, the two Porygons, you're right! Um... Damn it, uh... That's a, that's such a pain in the ass to set up, because you have to back out of the trading to swap the upgrade and all that. I got Magmordar and Electivire, yeah. Pokemon Sturdy Carapace protects it from volcanic eruptions. It shoots round rocks from the holes in sand. Dude, I don't suppose we could just find a quick, like, raid for Porygon 2 and Z. That would be useful. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to try. I'm going to show you guys a secret. A secret about what Pokemon can really be like behind the scenes. Where is it? It's about to be Cleffa Unmasked. Look at it. Oh my god, look at that Cleffa! It's going- it's on the beach! What's it doing? Oh god, it's attacking people! Watch out! Oh no, Cleffa died. Never mind. Level 71's not high enough for that, apparently. <laughs> oh, hello. Devil on the beach. Get out of there, Cleffa. You couldn't get away! This is not what I wanted to deal with right now. I was trying to do a funny joke. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, get out of there. Cleffa's slow. Alright, let's put the Cleffa away. I got a golem. I don't have a Lolan golem, though. Now, yeah, is there anything I need to evolve here? I caught. Not really. These are fine for now. Any new item spawns during all that? Cleffa couldn't fight anybody. Quick question, where do you go to uh, exchange the twigs for items? Nothing in here. Damn. Seems like it's gonna take a while before this pops- they all pop back in. Evolve shield on? I already did that earlier. Girl, a girl at Lacey's base who does it. Okay. You? Over and under, over and under. Galerica twigs go all around. And a nice accessory is what we've wound. I can weave you a Galerica cuff or a Galerica wreath if you bring me some twigs. Okay. I'll need eight. Got it. I'll get it woven in no time. Hello, welcome. Here you go, freshly woven. Makes the Pokemon very happy. Try giving that to a Galar Galarian Slowpoke, you'll see why. First, let me see how many I currently have, because I need a lot more, right? It was 15 for the other one. Is it in this pocket? I've got two left, I see. I need 13 more. Damn, that's gonna be annoying. Let's just evolve this one. Get that free deck slot. Oh. What? Slowpoke is evolving! He's got the pew pew arm. So now a shelter bit its arm because it was wearing that, right? Your slow poke evolved to slow bro. Shelter seems blissful over the taste of slow bro, even though the toxins seeping from the bite have caused shelter to faint. Okay. We're still pretending that that thing is a shelter. Just 
Everyone in the whole Pokemon universe is just gonna pretend that thing's a shelter and never address why. Excellent. Shell sidearm. Yeah, sure, why not? Physical or special, whichever will inflict more damage. Whoa, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that was its signature move. That's funny. Whichever will do more damage. I like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, back from a break. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more of the uh, little items I need. Over here. I'm not sure enough time has really passed for it, but hey, why not? What do you think's more likely? That I'll get 15 of the twigs, or, um, I'll find a shiny slowpoke first? With my luck so far, I'll probably find the dark- I'll probably find two shinies first. Damn, not a single one has respawned yet. Uh, this is a problem. If I can't get enough spawns for this, maybe I'll just have someone touch trade at me right quick, cuz... <laughs> I don't wanna wait, like, a real-life day if it takes that long. The sweat they take a long while. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, that might be a trade I want, then. For now, it might be time to just kind of get that 12k. Make a TM, catch a water Pokemon. Hello, lads. Let me just catch a water Pokemon right quick, why don't I? Get over here. Shouldn't take a full day, but like an hour or a half hour. Oh, I don't think even one batch is going to get me to what I need, so... Probably for the best, I just get traded it. Because I got like what from that batch? Maybe six or seven? Maybe even less, jeez. And he's leveling up. Take a photo of a Pokemon while swimming. I'd say next we can focus on unlocking the starters. Let me just get to shore first, because I can't take a picture on Karidon. Perfect. Over 12k. Let's go ahead and unlock them. Some people have been grinding for the, the twigs since release. Ah, oh, dude. Alright then. I think that settles it. To the school. Hold up one second. I just realized I didn't open this. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Pardon the click of my microphone unmuting. You can hear me again? Good. Oh, there it is. So I just gotta go to the club room. Let me make a save right quick, because I'm worried I'm gonna miss menu and spend it poorly. And I do not want to grind more of these blueberry points. They're the worst. Where do you want to go? Dorm room. The club. Look at, like, the underground... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the space station from Metroid Fusion. Oh, I bet you wish you could un unsee that now. <laughs> oh, it's recording. Don't worry. Thank you for checking. Uh, sorry. What was it? League club room. Here we go. You've got Slow King. Excellent. Check the computer. Contribute BP. Science Club. Now the 300 each, right? Oh, this one. Hang on. Art Club is here. Oh, it's not that. 3,000. Boost biodiversity in the savannah biome. We need lots of BP to fine-tune the environmental settings. So the ones that cost 3,000 are the ones we, we want. Okay. I was looking at 300 to pop for a second. Hey, I'm Terry from Terrarium Club. Or the Terrarium Club. Haha, <laughs> get it? Ready to fine tune the terra Terrariums. I keep calling it Terrarium. That's the real word, right? But it's a pun on Terra. Like Terrastalize. Whatever. Whatever. Including Wild Charmander. Let's go get them starters, kids. Terrarium has two R's in real life, so I, I guess you say Terrarium anyway, right? Okay, place things in the coastal biome. Being able to upgrade the environments. 
Wild Grookey. Buy them all. Get them all. It's only starters that appear, right? I don't actually know. Canyon biome. It's only starters. Litten. Sick. So let's get them starter evos. It should be relatively easy. Just whale on a few trainers once we got this set up. Okay. Polar biome. And now I never need to care about blueberry points again. While Pipla. Penguins in the polar? That's it. Okay, let's go. Now, once again, let me remind you that between streams... Um... Jeez. Between my streams, um, I grinded the 12k BP, basically, and I hated it. It's such a boring grind. Anyways. Let's go ahead and make some room for the starters now. Put Torkoal and Baxcalibur away. The bear stays. I demand time with teddies. Brandados needs to evolve. Wait, this means I can catch starters and whatever Pokeballs I want. That's cool. Okay, let's get started, everybody. You let me know when I've caught all the starters in each biome. Oh, Charmanders! Look at them! Look how happy they are! They're hissing at me. Wait, do I, I already have Charmander... But did I evolve at the Charizard? I don't think I did. Let me just quick ball it and level it up. Charmander babies! Aw, oh, come on, bro. Why you be like that? Oh, it Flare Blitz. I can't, um, I can't ball swipe it. I'll just take this one. Yeah, Charmander was an event because of that one rate. Starter catch rates. Oof. Ooh, critical. I don't think I have Charizard. I think I just have um, a Charmander box somewhere because of the event eggs. So I'll just evolve the one I catch here. Charmander is weak. The flame burns weakly. The baby has been acquired. If I see a gold Charmander, it should stick out. So how many starters are in each biome, huh? I'm sure if I run around, I'll see another... Oh, Hoots! Acquire Hoots. Six or seven each. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of starters now for all the generations, huh? Football. It's false swipe time. One. Two. Three. Boop. Damn. Repeat ball's not gonna work here, silly. You're not ghost type yet. Give it a boop. It's just a baby hoot. This is these. This is what's really gonna start filling up the decks now. Yeah. Um. Can't really use net balls. I guess ultra ball is my best bet. One. No. Oh no! It has brave bird. That's unfortunate. I wasn't expecting that. Well, at least I got Rampardos now. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. That's right. Um, what about Hisui and Typhlosion? Are they part of the decks for completion? I don't actually know how, how those three count. No, no, they're not. All right, good. Because the only way to get them is to evolve in Hisui. Stifled by a thick skull that can withstand any impact, this Pokemon's brain never got very big. Okay, that's rude, first of all. Hisuian forms aren't required. By the way, is it possible to get the, um, the normal forms of the, the starter evos in Legends or not? Like, is there actually a way to get normal Typhlosion if you're playing Legends, or do you have to not do it? Okay, you can't get them, alright. Unfortunate. I mean, I think Hisuian Typhlosion is awesome. It's one of my favorite starters, for sure. Okay. 
If they do another Legends game and they just take another three random starters and give them like funny, funny new Evos like that, that'd be sick. There we go. Make it Legends Unova and just make one of them a cowboy. What would they do? Can't be Samurott. They already just used Samurott it again, so. Hmm. Cowboy Blaziken. That would be kind of cool. What, couldn't they do that? What type would it be? Firefighting into fire something. Come here, Mr. Hoot. You're coming with me. Fire steel, give it a gun. <laughs> you know they won't. Okay, let's try another quick ball. I can't... It's got Brave Bird, so... No, darn it. Take Swampert and make it like, uh, make it, base it after the Louisiana Bio species or something like that. That could be kind of cool. Be Yeehaw version of Swampert. Let's just. Randomly toss Ultra Balls since it can Brave Bird itself to death. Maybe Delphox is an ancient witch or something like that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Leaf Blade. Just gonna eat Ultra Balls because it can just KO itself. One, two, three. Cool. What about Greninja? Greninja's really popular, so they probably, like, make... What, what if they made, like, an American version of Greninja? Instead of a ninja, it becomes what? What would it be? Let's see. Silently, it glides, streaking towards its targets to get close. Before they even notice it, it begins to pelt them with vicious kicks. How dare you, little hoots? Spider-Man? Well... Well, I mean, that's not out of the out of the question. Remember when remember when they made Obstagoon for the British region? Let's see here. I see nothing up here. I've got a hoot and a Charmander, and I need more. Is that Sobble? God dang. He's floating! He's doing a little swim! What about Intellion? What if Intellion had like a Legends? No, Intellion would be perfect for the Cowboy. What am I saying? Like, forget Blaziken. Now, like, Intellion would make the perfect Cowboy Evo for Unova Legends, wouldn't he? Literally would be perfect for that, come on. Sorry, I'm peeking the microphone a little bit, aren't I? I'm too excited by this idea. Perfect. Teddy is leveled. Charm. You already have all the charm you need, little bear. What's that back there? It gets berries to eat by shooting them down with bullets of water. Uh, bullets of water. It spurts from its mouth. Oh, chat! I just, I just thought of the funniest, like American version for a regional variant. Cinderace, but it's a football player. Ah! Come on, tell me that's not genius. Tell me that's not the most genius thing you've ever heard. Oh, that's just grass. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're European, it already is a football player. You know what I'm trying to say. It would be fire steel because it, it would have a football helmet made of metal. Come on, that one works so well. Literally, probably one of the most clever things I've ever thought of. Yes, this is clever. It, it, don't deny me this. Catch the Snivy. In the ball. Nice. Ingenious, yes. You will deny me? No, you won't. I'm sending a teddy to your location to boop you. 
There we go. The leap on Snivy's tail generates energy when exposed to sunlight, making Snivy swifter and adding an edge to its moves. Cool. We're filling up that dex now, aren't we? That's Crocodile. Do I have a full... Yeah, I have a full party. Maybe I should beat up a trainer now. Wasn't there one around here? No. Oh, go away, Tauros. I think that'll be funny. <laughs> It'd be kind of out of place, though, if they do, le uh, like, Legends Arceus, or sorry, Legends Unova, Curum, whatever. Cinderace just becoming a literal ace. Or better yet, if they ever want to make a Canadian region, they should make um, a hockey player Cinderace. I would actually unironically like that. I don't even care about hockey, but I'd take a Canadian version of a Pokemon. It'd be nice. Like a Maple Teddy Ursa. Oops. Come on. You drew that fan art already? Is it fire ice type? That's what it should be. I don't know if that's a good type or not, but it's unique. You know what's up ahead? I don't know. Tell me what's up ahead, little friend. Coastal biome lies on the other side of the wall. You ready for a nice, nice beach vacay? Oh, the maple syrup there, you mean? Okay. Oh, the teddy's up front. Oops. No, teddy, run! This bear is gonna get hurt. Quick, baby doll eyes it so it won't hurt you. He's going for priority, how dare you. You know who you're dealing with. Face Delphox off the sta Statue of Liberty since the statue comes from France. <laughs> yeah, I, I see what you mean. That's funny. Send out a Charmander. Charmander friend. Come on, Charmander, you can do it. Believe in yourself, little baby. My teddy got booped, though, and I'm upset about that. No one boops teddies in this stream. Ah, man. I think I could use a cool dip after that burn you just gave me. That's right, you just burned all your Pokemon. What are you gonna do about it, chump? That poor little baby bear needs to be revived. Now then. Hang on. Are those when I- oh, they're Poplio. Oh, that was in the back hit there. A Prospector Chestnut. That's, uh, Grass Steel. I like that idea. Have, like, a little headlamp and everything. Get in there for that gold rush. Oh, nice crit. Yes, yes, gimme, gimme. This Pokemon can control balloons made of water. It, pract it practices diligently so it can learn to make big balloons. Well, don't need to add it to the party. It's gonna take forever to catch these, ain't it? Have I even caught them all on the, the savannah yet? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced I have. There's another Snivy. Anything here? That's Rufflet. That's Tauros. More Rufflets. Anything in the water? Already found Sobble, so... That's Dewpider. Toto! 
Look at it. I said, look at it. Catch it, you dingus. He's so happy to be here. You're coming with me, buddy. Yoink! Oh, no, friend. Getting close to evolving a bunch of them at once. Next cat should do it. Its powerful, well-developed jaws are capable of crushing anything. Even its trainer must be careful. Be careful, chat. Or the Toto will bite you. Okay, the only one I'm missing in the Savannah is Fennekin. I have the shiny Fennekin, actually, but... I don't really want to put points or evolve it. Let me just see if I can find uh, Fennekin on my own before I move out of here. I can repeat ball it, at least. Hello, any Fennekins around here? Check this. Keep getting Viverbub ones. You spilled wine on your Totodile plush? How could you? Darn right, you need the stains out of it. You can't... You can't mess up your plush, friends. You gotta clean them. Hello? Any Fennekins around here? Look at that. Oh, it's Mandibuzz at its nest. See more Charmander, friends. Is that another Charmander? Yes, it is. I'm not sure which part of the map Fennekin chills on, but I'm sure if I wander, I'll stumble across it eventually. Probably among the Litleos or something. I roar over there. Here, execute. Hmm. I could check the location, but it's fun to run around. That's man or Volibi. Hang on, maybe they're nearby. Doesn't look like it. Fine. Where am I at? 168. I'm gonna fill up a lot of these in a moment. Protector. Almost to that. Is that the dragon scale? It is, isn't it? I mean, Slow King. Well, I don't want to evolve the one you gave me. I think I want to leave it at leave it a Fennekin right now. Okay. There it is. I have Greninja. When did I get a Greninja? Was that from an event or something? Fox Pokemon, Habitat. Okay, it's on that side. Now, where the hell am I? I'm in that general location. Let's just do this. He's already heading towards it. Seven Star Raid Greninja. Okay. That must have been a while ago, because I don't remember that. Oh, I think I need to climb to reach it. That's why. Or maybe not. Let's look for it, though. I demand to see little friends. Where are the foxes? I see little friends, but not the ones I want. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm still in the right spot, I'm pretty sure. Lions, deer. Where? Where? Let's see Trap Inch. I'm definitely in the general location. It was around here, right? No, I think maybe I need to check more closer to like this den, maybe. I see that Sobble again. 
Sobble and Totodile didn't really show up in packs, but the Charmander sure as hell did. There's Magby. What den is this? Oh, hey, it's a cleaver. More Magby. Come on, where'd the baby fox is at? Oh. Come on! I already need to find Fire Cat and all that. Ah, oh, darn it! I thought I saw it for a second, but it was just Deerling. I wonder how rare it is. Sobbles don't have friends. They can't be in packs. That's right. They're just a loner. Rhyhorn running through the water is just ending it. There we go. Gimme! I see one in the distance as well. Look at that little wolf. Getting the ball. This should, um, cause a couple evolutions to happen when I catch it, too. Now, oh, come on. Now, the question is, does it have Flare Blitz? Find out. One. Two. No! I see one in the distance, so I could just go for the False Wipe. I just hope it doesn't have Flare Blitz or something stupid again. Flare Blitz and Brave Bird on those ones earlier scare me. What am I doing? Repeat Ball still fine. There's the crit. I caught a little fox. Chat, do you like little foxes? They can be little friends. Okay, here comes two. This Pokemon gets worked up easily. Its body can also overheat, so it uses ears to di uh, dis uh, dissipate the heat and calm down. Fox. Hoot! That Exeggutor looks very short. That's another Hoot. Got a Dartrix. This narcissistic, narcissistic Pokemon is a clean freak. If you don't groom it diligently, it may stop listening to you. Okay, I didn't realize uh, this was a rebellious teen. Ooh, he's floating in the water. Look at that. Oh, right. Sobble also goes through an edgy teen phase, doesn't it? You're, sin you're sinking into the ground there a little too much. Drizzile. No one understands what it's like to be a middle water type, Mom. It extends its long, slimy tongue at blinding speeds and finishes off its prey with great skill. This has got to be one of the most forgettable-looking middle evolutions I've ever seen. Reboot definitely stole the show when it came to middle evos during Gen 8, didn't it? Now then... Still more Evos to come ahead. Looks like we're done with the Savannah as well, so... Let's focus on the coast at this point. As we catch them, we'll get EXP to evolve the ones we've been picking up. Wacky's, like, there. It's not bad, in my opinion, but... Drizzile is like, yeah. Comfy. Slots. That's Grimer. Let's just have a look around. I'm sure we'll bump into some starters soon enough. I imagine Chikorita is probably bopping around here somewhere. What is that? Oh, it's Trumby. Blossom. This seems like a location I'd find Chikorita or some other grass type here. Sloth. Comfy. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Hmm. 
Milkery, you're everywhere. Oh, there they are. Dino pairs. Come along, little friend. I will make you useful by adding you to my decks. Get in the ball. I think they said Brookie was also here, right? Yeah. Probably all the water ones. Oh, yeah, I caught Poplio near the border already. Okay, let's get Snivy's, or Servine. It loves to bask in sunlight. It uses the leaf on its head to seek out warm places. What a little friend. It also helped our character, our favorite character, Chris, uh, during the zombie apocalypse and Pokemon Nightfall. That's the most intense action a Chikorita has ever gotten. Hey, chat, what Pokemon is this? That's right, it's a Servine. It runs low to the ground, weaving through the grass, then mercilessly pummels its target by whipping them with its vine. Servine. It's a little bit tedious to get all the starters at once, but I didn't have any BP last stream at all. Make a prediction, will he run into a shiny starter? That could be fun. Oh, hey, cool, Metagross, but I already got that. Hey, wait, what? Bro! Come on. Damn it. I thought the beak was a shiny Chikorita leaf for a second, and I panicked. I'm like, no way. From a distance, look at it. From a distance, it looked like it could have been a Chikorita from behind. <laughs> you did too? <laughs> oh, from the right angle, uh, two cannon looks like it could have been. Damn it. I genuinely, like, thought I, I just called a shiny into existence. Look at that. Oh, it's Grimer. Oh, boy. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Alrighty. No longer content than this. This is probably gigantic 10... Probably longer than 10 hours at this point. We'll see. Hang on, let's drop down here. That's a muck. Love disc. Crab brawler. Sloths. I'm peeking the microphone a little bit. Like I'm playing Lethal Company again. Kind of hard to play Lethal Company silently, isn't it? Okay, we found Chikorita. Probably okay to move closer to the sides for other Pokemon. Maybe Bulbasaur will pop out, or Grookey. There's Gloom. There's Exeggutor. Probably want to do some more Yu-Gi-Oh tomorrow. But I think tomorrow I also wanted to start Lies of P on stream. So that's another reason I wanted to see if I could just finish this today. So I could just have all the footage and then edit it together and not have to worry about cleaning it up anymore. We're making a big push for stuff soon. Um, in a while, I think I want to get the trade stuff done. If people can help me with that. I think Fuzzy said they have, um... You have a slow king, you can touch trade me. What's that? Okay, that's a uh, pick a pack. I haven't seen any other starters yet. It's this one. Duosian. I've already seen that. Is this the Slowpoke Beach? No. This is the opposite of the Slowpoke Beach. Show me your flowers. Okay, you're all free to go. What was the other one I needed? Right, Porygon 2 and Z. Does anyone have those already evolved and could just touch trade me them? Because they're such a pain in the ass to send back and forth. Let's see. I wonder if anything shows up on the Slowpoke Beach. There's more twigs, but I don't think we're going to get enough. Only... Okay, that's five total. More slow pokes. And a Grimer there. There's another one over here. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a lot. Maybe it will be ready by the time I'm done. I'm actually getting quite a bit, but I need 15, and that's kind of a big ask. Resist Feather. I 
think I just got good spawn luck right there, didn't I? All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I found um, Poplio on the beach. Yeah, they all have yellow flowers. Remember, if you want it, the shiny version of Deerling just has a pink flower instead of yellow in all its forms. It's hard to notice on the fly, though. Another Poplio. There are some starters that I constantly forget exists. I love Chespin, but my goodness, they did so little with that Pokemon after it released that everyone just kind of forgot about it. Oh, I already checked this one, damn it. Okay, maybe something spawned on the beach over here now. More Poplio. Check this beach over here. Love Disc. Everstone. When I play Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, I want to play it as a Chespin. Oh, a cave. Let me see. I think that'd be fun. Don't know if they, any Pokemon show up directly in the, the ocean itself. Well, this isn't really an ocean. It's, uh... I mean, it's a simulated beach ocean with boundaries. Kind of. When it rains in the terrarium, does that mean they're just turning on the sprinklers? Probably. Anybody here? Check this beach. Darn, haven't seen any more starters yet. What about this cave? Hi, Lolan Muck. It's kind of nice that they have all, like, the Alol Alolan and Galarian forms here for convenience sake. And it makes sense because, like, the setting is, like, a simulated environment. So, I guess it does make perfect sense to release all the, uh, the different forms into this pr particular area. Mudkip's pretty well hidden. Is Mudkip in this area? I don't mind help, because again, I want to be able to finish this today, because I wanted to start a new playthrough tomorrow, and also record along Yu-Gi-Oh! VOD. Um, I kind of, like, have been doing a lot of long one-off streams. Like, the other day, I uploaded, like, the six-hour My Friendly Neighborhood VOD, uh, and then uh, today I uploaded, like, the plus four-hour long Lethal Company stream that I did with Dylan and Andrew. And what's that? It's Milkery. And now I have this massive DLC stream to get edited after. <laughs> and, right, I also started playing Valhalla on the side, and I'm editing that into gigantic VODs as well, because, you know, those don't do really really do well as a short thing. More Chikorita. Grimer. I'm not really seeing a whole lot here, am I? More eggs. Is this the Metagross? It is. Hang on, I need to move more to the side. I'm looping around now, aren't I? Let's try this area. Actually, let's try climbing up here. I can fly here too, right? Let's do that. Oh, Bulbasaur is high up in flower areas. Okay, we can look for it. I'm kind of excited to start Lies of P tomorrow. Like, I really enjoyed playing that. And immediately just wanted to play it again from the beginning on stream. Hmm. Anybody around here, though? I'll keep climbing, then. Let me hydrate. Good idea. Oh, come on. Get up. I'm trying to get a drink so I couldn't, like, back out there. There's a new mole. I'm really glad I did the BP grind between streams, though, because... I'm hearing people are not enjoying that. What is that? Okay, it's a, a, a Arquanid, whatever you can, whatever, whatever the hell it's called. Annoying to pronounce is how it, what it's called. Dupider. See, Torkoal. I haven't really been up here yet, have I? These camera are kind of trapped up here, aren't they? What about this? All right, Gavantula. More turtles. Seems like the type of place I'd expect to find Squirtle. Let's have a look over here. Perfect. Now look this way. Hmm. 
Vinny Orno's explosion and you just watch someone lose lose a shiny to it. Oh, that sucks. I lost a shiny muck to Memento, so don't feel too bad. Well, I didn't really feel too bad because I had um I caught a shiny Grimer shortly before that. Oh, there's Bulbasaur. This doesn't really look like a spot you'd expect to find Bulbasaur, though. Look at that bulb friend. He talks like an 80s action figure speaker. Sound quality, I mean. Catch the Bulba! I don't know the difference for Shiny Minior. Sounds like it's a pain in the ass. Bulbasaur just likes high places where it can get sunlight. Okay. For some time after birth, it uses the nutrients that are packed into the seed on its back in order to grow. Send it to the box. That's true. That's right. If you want to hunt for it, you should get a Pokemon with Damp. I should get the item to evolve What's-His-Face soon. It's 190. Blueberry Pokedex. What's that? Oh, it's Talonflame. I love how I can really see the simulated sky now. Lepaberry. So is there any other Pokemon hidden up top here? Jeez, look how cool that looks from here. That is actually really sick to look at. You know, from the details you can make out anyway. Bulbasaurs are already acquired. Maybe try checking the borders down here. Maybe the cliffs? I don't know where Mudkip is. I'd expect Mudkip would have been in, like, the Savannah, Savannah Swampy area. Maybe down here? I feel like I'm on the right track here. Horsey, horsey. Don't see any Mudkips. Big spider. Little spider. Hmm. Little spider. Am I on the right track here? Oh, I see a Bulbasaur. He almost looked more green than normal, but I'm like, no, it can't be. Hang on, I'm just gonna take it out so I can evolve something on my party again. Sorry, Bulba friend, you're getting clubbed. Mudkip's in the cave maze. Oh, that place I found the uh, Galarian Slowpoke before. That makes sense. Yeah, let's get Charmeleon. Sure, no problem. We'll go looking for it. Char Baby is now Charteen. When it swings its burning tail, the temperature around it rises higher and higher, tormenting its opponents. Friends have evolved. May as well check my next Pokedex reward. What am I at? I'm at 174. We're getting there. Next one is another Moon Ball. Okay, let's go down more. See Chikorita. You said Grookey is at like the borders of forests and coasts. Is that what? Is that it? And Froki is another beach Pokemon. Yeah, no problem. I only need to evolve Froki once since apparently I have Greninja. Jeez, this area is lagging like hell. Hell spawned in. There's the toucan. Looks, that beak looks like it could be a shiny. Chikorita. Annoys me. Bioplume. Blah. Let's look down here. That looks like a beach. Maybe Froakie? Poplio. Can Poplio and Froki show up in the same beaches? 
The frogs are just hanging out somewhere. We'll find them. We always find them. Finion, Rhymer, that's pick a pack. I always try a different beach. They can be on the same beaches, yes? Okay. Does that mean Froki would show up around here because it's close to the coast? Oh, that's a dino pair. Who do you think you are, little dino pair? You think you're full of nutrition? This'll teach you. Boop him. Now saving. Grassy Glide. Always goes first on grassy terrain. Let me see if the beach refreshed enough. Maybe there's something down here. Or maybe not. Hello, Dino Pair. Well, let's climb up and have another look around the sides. That's Grimer. Hmm. Okay, that's more Deerling. In the polar biome. What about it? Okay, more Exeggutor, more Exeggutor. Full heal. I don't see it anywhere. I'm sure as heck not finding one. Regular Exeggutor. Or a regular colored one, I should say. I'm gonna check the beach again. Lepaberry. Gosh darn it. Come on, where's Froki? I see another Poplio, and I'm just scooping up sand on the beach for some reason. More Poplio. Always Poplio. Pick a pack. Beach spawn seemed to refresh it walking along it. Darn it. I'm gonna try walking over here. This beach, maybe? Well, it's not really a beach. Maybe the cave? Tend to be close. Don't see them here. I may as well pop in the cave if I can't find them right now. Let the spawns refresh. Fortunate Labyrinth. There's another Slowpoke that wandered in. Is this the thing right here? Can Mudkip show up this place? Or down here? Oh, this is a dead end. Free candy, though. Hmm. Baby boop. It's a dead end there. There's several places in the cave that it can spawn. Okay. Checking the water, obviously, is a good start. Water pledge. Moles. I think if I run back and forth in this room, I'll probably see it. Hmm. This little poke just chilling in there. Oh, there it is. Gimme. Found a shiny diglet earlier in the cave. Nice. I think shiny diglet just has a blue nose, doesn't it? I, I, I think that's what both forms of the Shinies have. Okay, good. Mudkip acquired. Now, the only other thing I need in this biome is, um... Ah, oh, crap. It was uh, Grookey and uh, Froakie. That's what I was looking for. It has the power to crush large boulders to pieces. To rest, it buries itself in the mud at the bottom of a river. I don't believe Mudkip is that powerful. Come on now, Pokedex. The first dino pair you saw was shiny. 
Neat. You got Autumn Chikorita. The starters are kind of the last big thing to hunt for. I think it might mostly be legend... Not legendaries. Um, trade evos I gotta do after this. Getting feathers, at least. There's another Poplio. Damn it, I should try another beach. That's another Muck. I haven't seen any Grookies at the borders of um, the coast and jungle. Or forest. Not really a jungle. Whatever you want to call it. Coastal forest? Wh whatever the... Whatever the particular term is. Dino pair. Gooses. Don't see any down there. Okay, Dino pair, you're free to go. Don't get on my bad side, though. Or else. This is the area you found your Grookey. Okay. Imagine one should pop up in this general area, then. I run, maybe if I run back and forth on the bridge a little bit. I can poke my head down there and see if uh, Froki shows up. Because I know Poplio can pop in there, so it should be it. It might just be as simple as that. I'll have to run back and forth until he shows up. Okay. You just popped in the starters from home because you didn't want to do this? I mean, I can't blame you, but I'm the one doing the Pokedex playthrough. I gotta find them. Most of the time, anyway. Still no Grookey. All I see is Cools down there, too. If I'm in the general location, this should be okay. You found yours closer to the bridge, um, hang on a second. You see, closer to the bridge, closer to the beach from that. Okay. Well, it can't hurt to change things up. More spawns will happen. Let's just go. Let's see, hang on. Oh, further down, away from the bridge, closer to the beach. Sorry, I misread that. Double battles. Dino pairs are everywhere. Why are there so many of them and not the one I want? Hang on. What are those? Oh, those are slots. Still no Grookey. Is this area found or should I check somewhere else? More deer. I don't know if I should be climbing for it. Maybe I should just try going back over here to the beach. Maybe I'll find, um... Maybe I'll find Froki down here this time, anyway. You also saw some down by the south beach with all the beach stuff and parasols. That's Poplio again. Hang on, maybe I can check that next, because I'm not having good luck over here. Show me your flowers. Okay, they're all yellow. I find too many shiny deerling. Okay. So, South Beach. Yeah, let's try around here. Maybe Grookey will show up around that section, too. I'm gonna go for it. Come here, little monkey friend. And, uh, Froki, come on, too. I guess we're just gonna climb this right quick, because why not? No, Froki can show up at, uh, every... every beach. So I've just been stupid unlucky right now, is that it? Probably. And you, that sounds about like my luck right now. I'll find shinies, but I can't find a freaking regular spawn. That's Torkoal. More Goose. 
about here? That's Esper. Also Esper. Meow stick. This seems like an, an area where it could spawn, yeah. Near the coast, there's trees. Oh, there it is. Finally. It really blends in, doesn't it? He's gonna bang the little stick. Welcome to Grookey Kong Country. Get in the quick ball. No! Okay, I don't think he has any self-damaging moves, so I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the uh, false swipe. If it uses takedown, though, I'm gonna cry. Critical hit, good. Suffer. Don't have a ball for grass types. I don't know if Dust Ball is better right now. If it really works, but Ultra Ball it is. One, two, three. No! The children yearn for the Grookey. No! I, I accidentally. <laughs> I thought I hit X first. Oh man, it's a good thing I accidentally hit False Swipe. I would have screamed. Grookey is making an uproar. He's going bang, bang, making that noise. One, two, three. Oh man, Grookey, come on, you used to be cool. You want, you want to be cool, don't you? Because right now you're being super lame. He's being like, he's being like a Kleppa, not a good teddy. Oh, nice, a crit. That charm really has helped out a bit, hasn't it? The bear has grown stronger. Teddy Ursa wants rest. There's no rest for the little bear. He's gotta keep moving. Stop trying to snore. That's never that's bad for you. The stick Grookey holds has grown harder and more flexible after soaking in the energy that emanates from inside Grookey's body. It's a super stick. Send to the boxes. Okay, let's get that damn Froakie now. Oh, he looks so happy. Hang on a second. Let me take a look here. Happy Grookies. Happy little mud kips. Look at that one on the right. Charmeleons look like they're bullying someone that's off screen. Oh, happy Bulbas. Servine is... Yeah, Servine's there. The photographer didn't really care because it's Servine. There will probably be bear starters in the future. I would like one. Okay, check the beaches. Chat, have you noticed any frogs on the beaches lately? If you do, give them to me. Here's a meow stick. What does shiny meow stick look like again? Because I can't tell, because normally the guy and girl forms have a bunch of crap. Or they have whole different designs. That's another Poplio. They're like gold, are they? Okay. Let's see a tentacool. Let me check that Terra Beach over there. That's just a Trumbeak. There's a Meow Stick chilling nearby. Is Froakie like in the water or playing around the water like Poplio? I think it's playing around. We just gotta keep sweeping the beach over and over until I see it. Hi, Esper. Little plushy friend. Where are you? Where is the frog? There's Esper. Meow stick. Crab brawler. I don't know if they can be this far in the beach or if they have to be near the water. Oh, look, Grookey shows up on the beach. Ain't you special. Look at you showing up after I don't need you anymore. Pick a peck feather. Brokey's the exact color of the water. Oh, is he? So it's hard to, hard to really spot it. Okay, if I can show up on the Slowpoke beach, I could run back there, see if I can get some more Slowpoke wreaths. Hang on, one more sweep. Crap brawler. 
Penny on. Okay, let's do it. We'll get him, chat. This is the fun part of Pokedex playthrough, is hunting for the Pokemon that just won't spawn. They just won't spawn! It's fun. So... I think once again, I'm gonna have to come to turns. This probably won't be one upload. <laughs> Looking how long I've been streaming, it's like, yeah, no. I'll just shut up about it and decide when I'm actually done the damn stream and see the total amount of footage, because some uploads will be too large to even render. Hold up. Oh, that's Crab Brawler. Hang on. Did I go to the right beach? Oh, it says Froakie can show up here. Doesn't mean there's one right here right now, though, correct? That's sleeping. Wasn't actually blue. There's Grimer. I'm falling. That's cool. Where are you? Where are you? That's Tentacool. Hmm. It's saying they can spawn up over here. I'm supposed it's popped in here and I can just grab it. Anything? No, anything? No. I see a deerling. I see a saws buck in front of me. God dang. That frog does not want to show up. At all. Alright, I should head towards the Slowpoke Beach, because there definitely isn't one spawned in right now. I can just alternate between beaches if I don't get the spawns I want. Bring us to the plaza. Check the beach. Where? Palm trees just hanging out here. Hold up. I'm really heading towards it? Okay, I am. I thought I was going the wrong way for a moment. Give it up for round three at the beach, everybody. Was that Poplio? That's Poplio. Damn it. No can show up in the water at least. Hello, friend, welcome. Don't see any new items spawned into the beach. The Slowpoke Beach might be the best place to look because it has a lot of Pokemon spawns, but it seems like most of them are more, more than frequently just going to be Slowpoke. Crab Brawler. Where are you? Slowpoke's not even a water type. They don't they don't deserve this beach. Health feather, damn. I don't think any more twigs actually spawned in this amount of time. Love this. Good golly. Is that Poplio? Yeah, it's still Poplio. Damn. Um, hang on. I should just go ahead and do a picnic reset. Dude, I haven't even found all the starters yet. This is this oh, this is only going to be 50% done with the biomes here, right? Pack up and go. Okay, reset the spawns by using the picnic. Slowpoke. Poplio again. Oops, all Poplio. But I don't want a Poplio. I want Froki. Give us the frog. The children yearn for the frog. They're hard to find, I know. You don't have them in the deck, so you can't just immediately see them. I'm seeing a lot of Poplio, though, like... 
There's no way they have the spa same spawn chance at this rate. Oh, hang on. I think a twig just spawned in. Yeah, there's one. Oh, wait. I got three from that? Hold up. How many do I have now? I got 13. Dude, I could actually just get Slowking by myself now. If I pick up a couple more. I didn't realize you could find them in batches of three like that. That obviously helped. Here we go. There's Pekapex over here. They show up here. That's Tentacool. Poplio again. Oops, all Poplio. Where are you, frog? Where are you? Just come back after a rainy day and there'll probably be frogs all over the place. That's usually what happens, right? Slowpoke. I could just get one or two more of those twigs. We're golden. I hate how I have to get off the damn dino every time. Oops, all sea lions. This takes a little bit of time to get those twigs, yeah. Okay, reset. Picnic time. That's spinning on. That's Poplio. Chat prediction, what am I gonna find first? Froakie or a shiny Poplio? Probably be shiny Slowpoke at this rate. So is Froakie just stupid, stupid rare, or am I just really unlucky and I keep getting Poplio as spawns instead? I see Slowpokes. Yes, they're here. I'm really unlucky right now. Do they have, like, the same spawn rate? And, like, I just... It's just Poplio instead every time for me, huh? Where? Oh, where? Froakie! Come on! Where are you, Froakie? Can check the little the little beach over here. Damn it, it's Poplio again. We know it can spawn on this beach too. Is that another Poplio? That, that's two Poplios in the background. <laughs> God damn it! Two of them. Look at them. Damn. Sh th there's another one. Take a drink every time we find a Poplio instead of a damn Froakie. I'm ready to try the other beach in a second. I don't see you. I don't see you. Oh, to the other beach. To the other beaches. Okay. There's muck right there. That's Finneon. Those are sloths. Grab brawler. The hunt for the frogs continues. Good golly. We just don't see it. Tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. What about the tiny beach? Oh. I was wondering what the hell that was for a second. It was Doug Trio. Usually don't see them above ground like that. Or outside of the caves, I mean. No luck on this beach either. How bad is my luck right now? Like, this this is absolutely ridiculous now, isn't it? I should have seen, like, several of them by now, but I haven't seen a single one. 
Astronom I'm astronomically unlucky right now. Another Poplio! <laughs> what do you want, Goober? You're not what I want. Those are oddish. To the other beach. Because I've lost faith in that one. Hi, Oddish. Check this one first. Oh, well, friends. Everybody's enjoying the frogs. Meanwhile, me? I'm just running back and forth like a, like a crazy person. Convinced the frogs don't even exist anymore. Hang on, where even is the other beach right now? Yeah, I already did that southern beach, jeez. I'm just like looping the the edge of the island because I can't find it anymore. Oh! Come here, you little piece of crap. Come here! Found the damn thing. Wasn't on the beach. Get in the ball, you're coming with me. Brokey's real. Holy moly. That was... That took too damn long. I don't need to worry about Turtwig. I already uh, did the whole Torterra line. It's happy-go-lucky. Look, is an act intended to fool its enemies. It will suddenly drop the facade and overwhelm its foe with its blinding speed. Cool. And now that we've caught it, the frog will not stop spawning everywhere, I promise you. We're pretty much done with that now. To the polar biome. Dugong outbreak. We know Piplup is in the polar biome. We got all the coastal and savanna ones. I imagine Turtwig is probably canyon. Penguin! Well, that was fast. I'm definitely owed that. <laughs> you want? Do I want to know the Torchic location because it's almost impossible to find? Sure. Where is it? Is it like in the Torchlet Cave or Chargestone Cave? Torchlet's the coast, isn't it? Okay. Perfect. A poor walker, it often falls down. However, its strong pride makes it puff its chest without care. Heck yeah, cool penguin. The more I look at the time, I'm pretty sure I've been playing this much longer than I did for Teal Mask. Thank goodness I cut out the BP grind. There's another penguin. Maybe it's common. Okay, let's get a run for it. And have a little look-see. Look-see around -see. Oregon, yeah, yeah, I have the upgrade for it and all that. Milkery's there. Check the ice caps. Any other, any other water starters here? Horsey and seal. I need to get over Quill as well. I need to level up uh, Quillfish and give it Bar Barrage. Wait, hang on, hang on a second. Is Weird Ear in the decks? No, it, no, right? Because Weird Ear, or, you can't catch Stantler here. But you can get it now, right? I assume. I thought you couldn't evolve to Weird Ear when they made it transferable. Okay, now go up here. See a Cincino down here. We found the frog, that's right. Twitch just broke for everyone? Oh, did it? Hold up. Uh, it doesn't look like I dropped any frames. Is that why chat went quiet all of a sudden? It just died for all of you? Sick. Fine for you, fine for you.
Smeargle. Dr. Ludodon, what's, what's his face? There's that down there. Okay, so what am I looking for for Torchic? Is it... Oh, Oshawott's! Snow Cone Otter. Gimme, 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 gimme. Look, that, that one's making a break for it. He's leaving his friends behind. What a coward. It's, uh, gotta go to where I fight Drayton. Okay. Oh, nice. I caught it right away. I'm probably gonna use some of my experience candies to finish off these guys. Looking around, it wields the scallop on its stomach like a knife, blocking the moves of its enemies before slashing at back, slashing back at them in swift retaliation. Get caught, sucker. Oshawott, look. Oh, look how happy it is! Look at it. Look how happy... Look, except that one on the right. He's not allowed to join in the games anymore. He got kicked out. He's jealous. But they're so happy. Look at them. They're happy to cut somebody up with that shell of theirs. These penguins are conversing and looking at the camera cu curiously. This frog is shocked that people found it. And then there's Grookey. We saw that one. Alrighty, I'm gonna run over here and grab this now. Dragon Terra Shard. Okay, so this is where I fight Drayton, right? And where am I going from here? There'd be a cave. A mountain behind it. This? I mean, climb it or go pack back behind this little area here. Oh, hey, Score Bunny. I mean, I already have Score Bunny, so I don't need to do that one. But I found that nicely. That saves time. Climb, but hang on, what's in here? Axe you, Axe you. Thought that was gonna be it. Bunnies are funny. They're in the icy region now. That means they're gonna evolve into the hockey version of Cinderace. Oh, Chimchar. Bro, my luck with the polar biome is way better. He tried to do his cry and he had to turn around. <laughs> nice. I love how I run around for like a half hour like an idiot trying to find Froakie. And as soon as I walk into the polar biome, all of them are just like jumping into my arms. Polar is actually really easy to find stuff except Torchic, which is impossible if you don't know where. So it's in a very specific spot, is it? No problem. It's very agile. Before going to sleep, it extinguishes the flame on its tail to prevent fires. That's a good little friend. We have two monkey starters, but we don't have a bear starter. We need more bears. Pokemon needs more teddies. Snubble. Oh, there's a bunny. There's another Chimchar behind it. Okay, so it can just kind of spawn here. Where am I looking for? Does Torchic only, like, show up on top of these or something? I think I might be a little too high. Okay, so it's like a very specific ledge or something that has it. It's Snubble. Let's see, that's Reindeer and Snow Vulpix and all that. Hi, Smeargle. Lepaberry. Hi, Smeargle. Smeargle's just coming over to play. It's in a cave some somewhere. Okay. So I'm looking for a cave on, like, the ledges or something, am I? Behind. So we know about the one down there. So let me go over here. I don't think there was any caves lower than that. Chimchar... back here. Other way. Those are Deerling. It's the same area, but I don't see it. I only see the cave at the very bottom. Is there a cave along the wall here or something?
I don't see one over here. Or over there. It's along the wall I was on before, really? Because I didn't see anything else. Hang on, let me get a look here by standing. There's a cave somewhere? It's very tricky and hard to find, is it? Mr. Luden down there. I'll find it. As long as I can find the cave, I don't need to worry, right? A snubble. I need to go up here. Oh, is this it? So I thought you said this was too high up here. This is it? Okay. So only this cave can have Torchic in it. Hang on. Let's run in and out and see if I can make the Vulpix change to Torchic. Okay, it looks like a... I just gotta reset the spawns by running in and out. This is the only place Torchic can spawn. Okay. Come here, little hug machine. He just wants to be warm and cozy in his little cave, and we have to come and take one home with us. Heck yeah, we do. And critical capture. And that's that's it with the polar biome, right? Because I already have Score Bunny done. I assume Turtwig is what I already have done for uh, the canyon biome. Sick. We almost got him. Torchic feels toasty warm if you hug it. It has a flame sack inside its body and the flames burn continuously as long as Torchic has life in it. Cyndaquil? No, I don't have Cyndaquil. Perfect. Alrighty, chat, what was the most annoying starter for you to find? If you haven't done it yet. Cyndaquil should be in there. Are you talking about the canyon? Or the same cave? Now I'm about to warp out of here, because we're done. Chimchar mark there. None, you cheated them in. Well, you transferred. That's not really cheating. Careful, Nintendo will get mad if you cheat in Pokemon. They'll send Teddies to your house. No, they'll send Cleffas to your house. What am I saying? Okay, let's go get these little boopers. Squirtle's probably near the water. Chespin's probably in the grass. Oh, hey, Tepig. And Tepig is right here. Excellent. Well, bacon is on the menu tonight. Whenever you're out and about and you're a little bit hungry, just catch yourself a little bit of bacon. Oh. That Pokemon fell off. Oh, hang on. We gotta sit through three Evo evolutions now. It's more nimble than it looks. It uses its speed to confound its enemies. It rapidly launches fireballs from nostrils. Okay, Chespin's in Charged Stone Cave, and Cyndaquil is in the Polar Biome. Does it have a specific spot for it there? Dartrix evolved Decidueye. It cunningly conceals arrow quills in its wings. It launches these quills with such precision that they can pierce a pebble at over 100 yards. It has a specific cave on one spot by the coastal biome border. Oh, jeez. Okay. Keep current moves, yes. You almost bought Orange Crush today. Well, maybe you should just buy yourself a soda then. What do I care? And here's Inteleon. It uses special lenses in its eyes to sense things about its opponents, like their body heat. It then attacks once it identifies a weak spot. Secret agent. Not so secret if you can check it. You know what would have been really funny? 
if the Pokedex entry just said redacted because it's a secret agent's classified in information, that would be funny as hell. People would either think that's super lame or super hilarious. I'm in the group that would think would be hilarious. <laughs> Snipe shot. Oh, you're going to the PC. Don't pretend you're getting the moves to learn any moves. And now we get superior. We can swap out some teddies now. Missed opportunity. Servine evolved as superior. It generates energy from sunlight, then amplifies uh, that energy dozens of times within its body. Cool. That's four dex entries off one capture. Nice. So first, let me swap things out. Okay, you're done. So we'll take you. Oh, you're still going. What are we doing? Take the Toto friend. And I guess Poplio. You four can do this just fine. Now then. Let's teleport or just hop down and hope I find one right away. I still need Hitmonchan, so I should just grab a random Tyrogue from my PC and give it a bunch of iron before I give it candies. Any Squirtles down here, though, while I'm at it? Save me some trouble. Hi, Tyrogue. How are you? It's usually a Terra Pokemon spot. Oh, there's the Squirtles. Baby Turtles to hug. Look at him. Look at him float. He's baby. Or she's baby. At level 69. Hey, how you be like that? Withdrawing. I don't think Squirtle has any recoil moves, so I should be safe to uh, hit it with False Swipe. That Squirtle's freaking out over there. It's having a crisis. The whole squad. Well, this squad is cute. They don't have mean sunglasses. Smashing a shell. Trico is in the spot. You catch Kranidos. Okay. Man, catching all the starters is a little bit of a slog, isn't it? I might take a break to eat some dinner in a while. Since we're going... Oh, man. This particular session is getting close to the four-hour mark. Oh, <laughs> Baby turtles. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. It sprays a potent foam from its mouth. Happy turtles! Okay. Anyone else nearby here? Hold up. Oh, yep. Yeah. It even shows Trico right there, too. Let's climb the wall. I saw a Sceptile in Drayton's fight. Anything in this cave? Nothing's in this cave. Lime. Okay, Skarmory. Just take a look for Trico. It probably blends in with the grass. Oh, there it is. Dang. After Froakie, everybody is just showing up quickly. And mine to see the turtles? Perhaps. All the turtles are just hanging around. They're little friends! Oh, nice. Critical. All my bad luck was spent on Froakie, apparently. Grookey took a while to show up, too, but not nearly as bad. The small hooks on the soles of its feet latch onto the walls and ceilings so it will never fall, even while hanging upside down. Sick. Ooh, smug Trico. Look at that. Take a quick peek at our decks. Our decks is at 187. See, it's really growing now. 
Yeah, look at that. He's got his arms crossed. That's how you know he's cool. Look at those turtles. They're so happy, and that one's sleepy. Superior is, like, a little out of focus there. Inteleon is super cool secret spy. The city Y is flying. Okay, it looks like we're done up here. So... Hang on. What am I missing? Aside from Cyndaquil. Yeah, let's look around here. Oh, both Mina and Mayu are sick now? Oh, okay. She said that Mayu got, like, uh, the big sick already. I guess it's expected she caught it, too. Uh-oh, I didn't, I didn't see that message before I went live, so... No turtles for now. Oops. It's on a cave and a really big ice chunk next to the coastal biome. I'm sure we'll find it. Uh, I got, let's see, I got Chikorita, I got Bulbasaur, I guess. I didn't get Chespin, I, it's in Charged Stone Cave, though. What is that? Is that Oshawott? Oh, Oshawott shows up here, too. Oh, go away, Duosian. Everyone can recover quickly, I'm sure. Oh, they just posted the message not too long ago. Well, I've been live for like four hours, so it's fine. Yay! Everything's fine. When you're sick, you can just watch all of my streams to feel better. Or I'll just give you a headache and make you feel worse. Yay. Is that... No, that's not it over there. I don't think I'm going the right way. Hold up. Yeah, it's probably around this thing. We'll get Chespin after this. Is Chespin and Cyndaquil the last one? I want to hope so. Come on. Every Pokedex playthrough in, in one way or another has a bit of a, a tedious section to get through. Or is it... That looks like it could be it over there, actually. I don't have Litten, you're right! I knew I was forgetting one starter after that. How did I forget Litten? It's one of my favorites. Oshawott's hanging out. Doesn't look like it's that one, either. Hi, horsey. I just saw the cave. God, I didn't. Hang on. Let me see here. Where? Oh, I see it now. I did not even notice that. That seal just jumped! And I fell on you. There should be a Sun Bear fire type bear starter. Perhaps. We can have Sun Bear and, em and Blazing Emerald, though. I still think one of the worst uh, things I had to catch in Pokedex playthroughs is there's a few 1% encounter mons that are just abysmally garbage to find. Let me see. I got really lucky, and I found Bofalant super fast in uh, Unova Red Safari Zone, because that would have been hell to find otherwise. I was ready to spend an entire stream. So is this the location? It looks like it. I just need to go in and out, don't I? Where are the Cindas? This cave looks pretty cozy. I could build a whole freaking little setup in here. Damn, Snubbles. I spent forever trying to find the 1% Dreepy and play Blazing Emerald. Well, that wasn't a Pokedex playthrough, but I just wanted to use it on my team. And I did.
Maybe I need to get a bit more further away. Come on. Where are you at? Jeez, would it be better if I just opened a picnic here? Let's try that. Oh, can I not do it in here? Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me. Let me just get a little bit of distance. Maybe they'll make the spawn change. Or make something spawn. I'm not even seeing anything in this cave. Got another section to climb to. I'm in the right place, I just gotta wait for it to spawn, huh? Aren't I what? I don't need to battle you trainers, you're all optional now. You're obsolete. Hey Cyndaquils, where are you? I s I'm, I'm literally on top of the Cyndaquil icon now, you see that? Let me get even further away. Maybe that'll do something. Maybe that'll do something. Silly RNG duck is in the way. Let's go. Hello, bear. Dude. Pokemon aren't even coming in here. And everything's blurry. I'm just running in, in and out like this. Oh, look, now you show up. Hmm. How'd that happen? Get over here. You're coming with me. Squeak. Get in the ball. Level 70 Cyndaquil. Must have been chilling here for a long time. Eruption. I don't know if it knows Flare Blitz. That's gonna be hard as hell to catch. It's going over heat. Really should have healed up Ogre Pond. Uh, I guess the Dust Ball would work here. After this, it's Chespin and Litten. Sorry, we're, did you say we're lit? Oh, no double edge. Give me a break, dude. Oh, yeah, we're not <laughs> one one upload rip. Rip the dream. Perfect. Let's go in and out. Try again. Why do they all just happen to have a move that makes false swipe, like, completely useless? Litten's real easy. Better be. Cyndaquil! Come here. Get in the ball! Oh, man. And now it's gonna roll out me. Or not. Okay, good. I got a critical capture. That's what we want to see around here. Close to Charizard. It usually stays hunched over. If it is angry or surprised, it shoots flames out of its back. Fire Mouse Friend. Ooh, look how happy it is. Look at it. Why is there a Skarmory in the background? This ain't about you. you get, get out of here. Wait, wait. Why is its picture of the Canyon Bridge? But it only shows up here? Hello, friend. Welcome. That's annoying. <laughs> Skarmory's in the right location, but Cyndaquil isn't. Okay. 
the entrance to charge stone cave is like as soon as you enter the biome right oh, i think you can do it from the central plaza that's where it hangs out when i'm not around let me just heal up pretty quick And Cyndaquil is going to get uh, swooped up. <laughs> okay, that should be Charge Stone, right? Now, is it only a specific spot Chespin shows up? Chespin just kind of got shoved here because no one else... They didn't care about anyone else, did they? Hmm. Just need to go down the side. All right. Check it out, moles. We found yours right at the entrance. Okay. Do I keep leaping down or I go over here maybe? I don't see a chestpin yet. Jump off to it. Jump off. Jeez. Cave walls are so finicky. What are you doing? I'm locked on to him. Chestpin's back. Ready to get ignored by everyone again. Chespin's cool. You're just all mean. Brokey and Fennekin got all the love. No! Wood hammer. Okay. So once again, I can't false swipe it. You're not allowed to false swipe any of the starters, are they? Well, if that's the case, I guess we're just eating Ultra Balls until it pisses off. Is it just a coincidence, or do they all just happen to have a move that damages them? Pain Split. What are you doing? What are you doing? So much for False Swiping. You want Chespin? You gotta work for it, bro. A lot of them do. Canadian Teddy stretch. Hang on, I should stretch. I'm a good bear. I stand up on my own. Nice. A lot of Pokemon are rude lately. Teddy leveled up. Teddy's not thrashing. He's too much of a good bear. When Chespin tenses up before landing a headbutt, the spikes on its head sharpen to points, piercing the enemy's body on contact. It stabs you. Good to know. Look how happy it is. We're all gonna look how happy it is. I'm at 189. Look at them. They're running around. Chilling in their own cave since they're not liked by all the other starters. Okay, now we need Litten. Uh, where's Litten at? Where in the canyon do I find me a Litten? Because I think with that, I can just start spamming my experience candy so I can get the evolutions on them. Grab a berry. Want to assume it's up above? Yes, I know. I, I'm in the canyon biome. Where in the canyon biome? That's kind of the issue. Let's check the cleaver zone. Mole. Go lurk. I don't see any more cleavers. Or golets sitting inside the cleaver. Uh, 
that, wasn't it? For the black and red, or maybe white and red if I find a shiny. It's not them right there. That's a bunch of deer. Green patch by the polar biome. Oh, it literally says right here, but I don't see any green. Are you talking about here? Let me try looking up here, since apparently I can find it there. I do need Porygon, too. Yeah, I need a lot of things. I gotta do the bleh trading stuff. There's Tepeg. Go away, Scyther. Ella kids there. Makes it sound like it could be anywhere along the mountain path. Let's just go over. Maybe we'll find it along the way. Golet. Golet. Man, the walls are so finicky for climbing. This game's climbing wish it could have, like, Breath of the Wilds. Well, that would be annoying with the stamina meter. Maybe here? It could pop in? I'm seeing things pop in. Now what I need, though. More baby moles. Okay, here. It's gotta show up around here, then. What was that? Oh, it's a Corviknight. It's not what we need in this location. Electabuzz, that's you. That's you. It can show up just running around this green spot, so we should be able to find it, right? Yeah, it says it can show up in the field, so it should be here. If I just run around, I should see it. I hope. Once we have it, we can kind of just get on with, um... Basically just, like, powering through the rest of the decks now, can't we? There's a cave here. The TM cave. I must have already picked it up. Sinus T. Ah, it's just Elekid and stuff. Don't know how rare it is, but... Oh. Oh, that's Turtwig. I don't need Turtwig, because I already got it from the egg in Kitakami. And I evolved it as we were doing the yesterday, the other stream. Stream the other day. God, I can't talk. Okay. I haven't really... Oh, there we go. I haven't really seen any raids for stuff I need. Go, cat, go. It's very, very common here. I, I was worried we were going to have another Froki situation. Let's get it. Wrestlecat. Litten was caught. Okay. With this, I don't think we really need to go catch much. It's now just power through those at dex entries. If you try too hard to get close, it won't open up to you. Even if you do grow close, giving too much attention is still a no-no. What's it gonna do? Like, just burn me? Probably, actually. It becomes dark type for a reason, I guess. Okay, perfect. Any time. There you go. And I should have enough dex entries shortly to be able to immediately evolve Durludon. Dur, uh, Dur God, I can't remember how to say its damn name. If Charizard becomes truly angered, the flame at the tip of its tail burns in a light blue shade. Really? Is that a reference to Mega Charizard X? That thing. She also has a stick. Braxen. It ignites the twig from its tail and waves the twig around to signal its allies. To indicate danger, it draws circles in the air with the twig's flame. Yeah, 
out and complain the decks. I've been saying that all day. Totodile evolved the crocodile. Is that? Wow. Did they actually fix this thing's jaw? It doesn't look like one rounded, like, pair for its face now. The tips of its fangs are slanted backwards. Once those fangs clamp down, the prey has no hope of escape. Ow! Oh, right, this one. Poplio evolved into Bri Brianne? Brian? Skillful dancer creates a sequence of water balloons as it dances. They briskly bombard its enemies. All right, hold up a second. Let's check a look at this. Look at them all. Yeah, they're happy and dancing. They're gonna bite things. They're hissing. And oh, look at the little Fennec in the corner. He's, he's, he's giving you the stink eye, though. Charizard is just being Charizard, yeah. Litten is a cat. Look at him. Aww. Little cats. Currently, the dex was at what for Blueberry? 194. Let me pick up the prize here. Moonball. And there's the metal alloy. 200 is a dream ball, and that's the last one. Okay, we easily will pass that, though. Back to this. It leaves burn marks in the ground with the flame at the tip of its wand. Long ago, people used the shapes of these burn marks for uh, divination. Magic Fox acquired. Ooh. Ooh, looking for alligator. That one looks like it's definitely a little different, too. Look at that posture. For alligator, the Pokemon whose name has to be spelt weird because the Game Boy couldn't fit the, the couldn't fit the E between the T and the R. When it bites with its massive and powerful jaws, it shakes its head and savagely tears its victims up. I love evolving the starters. Congratulations, evolved Primarina. This thing hasn't had a model since, um, Sun and Moon, right? To Primarina, every battle is a stage. It takes down its prey with beautiful singing and dancing. Primarina just got new animations when it's on land. Okay. Bayleaf! Happy Dino. The spicy scent that wafts from around Bayleaf's neck somehow makes those who smell it want to fight. It provokes people? I thought it was a wholesome dino. Apparently not. And now Meganium's acquired. Bayleaf evolved to Meganium. Anyone who stands beside it becomes refreshed just as if they were soaking in the soothing atmosphere of a forest. So I guess it doesn't provoke people with spices anymore. Close up the cabbage. Look at you, Ivysaur. You're cool, because you're in Smash Brothers. The more sunlight Ivysaur bathes in, the more strength wells up within it, allowing the bud on its back to grow larger. You should stretch too, chat. Don't be sitting on your butt all day. You don't want yourself getting... Oh, yeah, they definitely changed up the facial structure on Venusaur. Even though the grass is obscuring it. While it basks in the sun, it can convert the light to energy. As a result, it is more powerful in the summertime. Look at that grin on it. Venusaur has got a snout now. Yeah, I know. We're not done with the starters. We still have more to take out. Marsh Tom looks creepy in 3D. Ever since I saw it in Coliseum, I'm like, dude, this thing just looks better as a 2D sprite in all forms. Living on muddy form, or sorry, muddy ground that provides poor footing has served to train its lower body and cause it to develop sturdy legs. Yeah, let me get a drink while we do this. This is what hoarding hundreds of experienced candies was for. Your 
Marsh Tomp evolved to Swampert. Its arms are hard as rock. With one swing, it can break enormous boulder into pieces. That's why it gets Hammer Arm, I guess. Grookey's got the thing on his stick. Let's get Thwacky. Now he's got two sticks he's ready to throw down. It skillfully uses its two sticks not only for drumming out rapid beats, but also for pummeling opponents during battle. Thwacky goes thwack. Ugh. I, I think there's like one more batch of starters after this. And now it's got a whole drum. And it just puts it away. Oh, it's on its back behind its hair. Though it has a calm disposition, it won't tolerate those who drum up discord. It strictly disciplines offenders until they learn their lesson. Don't mess with Rillaboom. Nice. Nope, no moves for you. You ain't getting used. You're here for the decks. Check what we got. We are at 205. Let's take a look at these pitchers. They're sleeping and they're laughing at him. And that one on the right looks like he's about to, uh... He's a secretly a serial killer. Swampert's looking at Marsh Tom and they're like, Look at this idiot! Do you believe his eyes look like this? Yeah, I know, right, Frank? He's drumming up a storm, yeah. And Rillaboom is... Oh, look, the whole family's there. That's cute. Only 20 more evolutions to go! Brokey is here to have a good time! Oh, jeez. Quick question, chat. When I... If I were to focus solely on the story... Hang on, Frogadier. It excels at devising battle strategies that make use of the terrain and never misses its mark when throwing bubble-covered pebbles. If I were to focus solely on the story, how long would that take to finish? There's about an hour of story left. Okay, that's not that bad. I think what I should do is take a break for dinner in a little while. Oh, Greninja is just standing now. That Dude, is that his default look? <laughs> Water Shuriken. Nah. I didn't get its dex entry because I already had it. Oh, right! I didn't need to evolve this. Totally forgot. Penguin. Okay. Penguin. Piplup evolved to Primplup. Primplup's data has been added to the decks. Oh! Wanted to look at it. I hit the button by mistake. Metal Claw? No. Let's look at our pictures. Frogs. Other frog. Penguins. Look at that one with the crossed arms over there. He thinks he's top. He thinks he's cool, but he's a Primplup, so who cares? It lives a solitary life. Its wings deliver wicked blows that can snap even the thickest of trees in half with a single hit. Let's do it. So the bulk of the remain remaining stuff is really just the decks, which shouldn't take too long to finish if we set up and do trades. I think I can still finish this tonight. If anyone were to hurt its pride, it would slash them in two with wings that can cleave through an ice flow. Painful. Penguin. Bum, 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 bum. Gosh, one of all the do what? It's said that people modeled swordplay after the way DeWatt's movements flow like water while it's wielding its two scallops. There we go. Bum, 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 ba, bum, bum. I need... How many legendaries do I need for the decks? I don't actually know. Samurott looks like it's a bit different there in the face. A master of a sword drawing art called Ia, uh, Iaijutsu, Samurott settles its battles with a single swing of either large sword sheathed in its four-leg armor. All right then. Look at that. 
they count? Alright then. Get them. Uh, the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves don't count. Okay, because they're still event only for some god knows reason. Your Chimchar evolved into Monferno. Wait, are they version exclusive, right? I only have- that means I only have to catch Raiko and Entei's form, and someone will have to touch trade me the other two, I'm assuming? Yes, okay. It skillfully controls the intensity of the fire on its tail to keep its foes at an ideal distance. Holy moly! Infernape, ready to throw down. That's a different stance for it. This Pokemon confounds opponents with its speed. It uses all its limbs to fight in its own unique style. Hold up now, I'm in this. Let's at least break up some of the monotony by getting some trades in. Sorry you're at work. Perfect. Torchic of all the Combuskin. It boosts its concentration by emitting harsh cries. Its kicks have outstanding destructive power. Okay. You clearly need some stuff here. It doesn't matter. I'll just touch trade anything. Porygon 2. Okay, let's get it. Is this holding the dubious disc? Oh, it's shiny. Well, it hardly matters to me. I'm gonna send it right back, of course. It can be finicky if someone has their settings to display themselves as offline. Really? Because I do that, and I haven't had much issues aside from now. Waiting for other one person to respond. Communicating, stand by. Blue Duck. Sent right back. I don't know if you have version exclusives, but I don't have any of the Violet exclusives yet. <laughs> I need them. Oregon 2. Take good care of Porygon, too. This artificial Pokemon evolved thanks to cutting-edge science. It sometimes displays behavior that is not in its programming. It's going rogue. Duck. Oh, cool. You gave the dubious disc. Only exclusive I really need is Sandshrew. Oh, yeah, I did get Shield on at the start of this session, didn't I? Porygon 2 evolved to Porygon Z. Additional program was installed to create a more advanced Pokemon, but it was apparently flawed. Porygon Z moves oddly as a result. It was a virus. It wasn't an upgrade. Maybe I'll save a couple hours to finish this off another day. I don't know if we're going to have time at this rate. Okay, let's send it off. The shrew is in the quick ball. Okay. I'll back out and I'll give it a nice stone. It lives on snowy mountains. Its steel shell is very hard. So much so, it can't roll its body up into a ball. Oh no! The poor shrew can't do that no more. Oh, look at that picture! See how happy that looked? All right, thank you very much there, Ben. Let me take care of this. Back out. I can just give it an ice stone. First, let me go ahead and just get myself a Blaziken. There we go. Now we can evolve the starters again. I think first and foremost, I should take a dinner break in a little bit, <laughs> like I keep saying. But I'm stubborn, I want to get stuff registered in the decks. When facing a tough foe, it loses it, it loses flames from its wrists. Its powerful legs let it jump clear over buildings. No being hangry. That's right. Hang on. Wants to learn Blaze Kick. 
keep current moves. Okay, let me take a quick look at the peak, a uh, quick peek at the decks here. We now have 217. That's that's really good. Oh, dude, I'm actually getting really close. So never. Now that I think about it. Okay. Blueberry Dex is now 200 volumes. Dream Ball. Gold Bottle Cap. And there's a free Beast Ball right there. Okay, I am back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I took a little bit of a break to have some food. Because I was getting hungry and I was just kind of sitting here giving these things candies for a bit. I'll probably, uh, I might montage edit through a lot of these starter evos, because it took forever to do that. But, I think what I want to do right now is... Chat suggested that we should do some story now, because there's not that much of it left. So, it's probably a good way to break up the rest of the Pokedex, because we've been doing this for a little while. We need to go to the entrance, so let's do this. And I'll get my real team out. Oh, it's recording. Thank you for asking. Oh, pardon me. I definitely think the Terrarium here has some tedious dex entries to get. Kitakami had some, but it wasn't nearly as bad. It's mostly the starters just being a big bulk. We have what we need to get some other stuff later, but for now... Let's put these away, including the Teddy. The Teddy needs a rest. Put you here. We'll see how much we can do tonight. I know, I know, I'm yapping and yapping about how long it'll take me to finish this. When you, when it's uploaded to YouTube, they'll obviously know. I'll see how long I can make it once I edit out breaks and all that. Let's do this. And was that everything I was using? Who am I missing here? Who am I missing? Who should I take? There was another one. We're taking them all in for fun. That was the Dragonite I was using before. There's the Shiny Mean Shao. I can just take Iron Hands. Why not? A redeem for recording and save check. I don't know if that's really needed. Let's do it. Looks like I made a lot of progress in the Kitakami decks. Uh, what is that? 217. Check there. No, I already got my stuff. I don't know what it's talking about. Anyways, hang on. Oregon 2. Oregon Z. Look how happy those shrews look. Look how happy they are. And Blaziken is just kicking. Blaziken is doing its stuff. Is this message gonna keep... Is it okay? Just keeps going. Anyways, we need to go to the entrance for this, right? It doesn't say an exclamation mark, though, but that is what Drayton said, I'm pretty sure. What is it? Where is it at? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, yo, Asprey. Ready to sign up for your official match? Yeah, I've had enough of uh, dex completion for now. Your Asprey, yeah? Let me get your championship match set up. This'll take a moment. Ogre Pawn is up front, yeah. So, Asprey, you said you and Kieran are good friends, right? Well, sorta. No need to be shy about it. Friend drama is just a part of life at your age. Hey, here's the Draester's take. I like Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of a wimpod. He'd hide behind Carmine if you so much as breathed too loud. But I tell you what, when it came to battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as in his. But then out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good has come out of this. Someone's got to snap him out of it. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life, so now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran, the BB League champion? Not yet. Hold up. Please come back when you're ready. Ogre Pawn is up front. Jeez. 
Is there a heal machine here? Making sure my PP is at full. Oh yeah, it's good. Everyone's got an item. I think this will be good. Y'all ready? Yes. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you're ready. Well, it's up to you now, Asprey. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering for you. I, I've transferred to a school, but I only went to one class. Bing bong. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance to the academy. Oh, here? I thought we were going to do it in the central plaza. Oh, thank you for the raid there, little lemon bun. Appreciate it. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. It's a good thing I got raided now, and not when I was giving candies to level up all the starters for the decks. This is a much better time for new people to come in. He's upset. He's mad that I have the cute ogre friend. Any sooner, you might have caught me on break as well. Kept me waiting. Worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Asprey. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work. All of it. All of it was so that I could beat you right here, right now. Let's crush some dreams. New music. New champion fight, let's go. I don't even remember what Pokemon he had. Here we go. Wait! He's gonna drizzle, but I'm gonna drought. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand soon enough. You've got some nerve bringing out the ogre now of all times. He actually reacts to it. I knew it. Raid. Okay, drizzle. Ooh, that's perfect. I caught a random shiny Torkoal, so I just been using it in doubles with Fire Ogre Pawn. Now then. I wonder if I should just go terrestrializing it and hitting hard with this anyway. I kind of want to. You know what? Why not? I'm going to go in anyway, because the sunlight's going to block the water. There is dialogue for Ogre Fun, yeah. Carmine reacted to me using Ogre Fun at the start. And I just wanted to use it because it's cute. And I get it at the end of the last DLC. I know it's not very effective, but it's Terrestrialize and Sun. Ooh, so sorry. Another Dream Crush by the Ogre. Ogre Pond avoided the attack. Your multi-scale is used up. He's got a Z. Okay, then. Let's keep hitting with Heat Wave. Doesn't seem like he's trying to set up Tailwind or anything. Oh, wowzers. Doesn't matter if the tight matchups work for you, though. I'll still win. Doesn't look like you're winning, Kieran. Turtle is still here. By the way, my Torkoal is holding a Heat Rock. How do you like that? See, I trained. Not the kid you battled in Kitakami. So when it comes in with Drought, I get 10 turns of it, even if he wants to take it out. Oh! That's Cineroar. Well, that won't matter. We'll go ahead and keep doing this. Oh, he faked out the wrong one. I don't even remember what his normal battle theme sounded like. Is this a remix of it? 
Weather extenders are eight, not 10. Oh, okay. Am I thinking of previous generations? I thought it doubled it. So I was thinking 10. This is a new theme entirely. Cool. Okay, we knew that was gonna happen. I think it's time I took out my back Scalibur. We haven't gotten to use it much this run. Now then, finish you off. And we'll go with the ice on Dragonite. It does use some of the old theme mixed into this one, okay. Oh look, I get even stronger. Go on, Kieran. Go on. Do something. Impress the o imp impress Ogre Pond. Bleh. Just go down already. How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Grimmsnarl. He's got some of everything, huh? Syrup's covering everything. Evasiveness fell. Okay. These are his last two Pokemon. He's gonna Terrastalize, isn't he? So let's hit you with this. And we'll go ahead and... He's gonna go... He's probably gonna use it on the Hydrapple. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed and I'll show you I can change again. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, is it fighting type? Wasn't expecting that. And it's setting up Reflect. Ooh, so sorry. Your dreams have been crushed. And now we get to hit you. <laughs> I got a crit! Oh, that's insulting. Even Lux chosen you. It's not fair! It's not fair! <laughs> Level 81. Now he's gonna get finished by the ogre. Skill issue. It's all ogre now. Another crit. Here comes the crushed hopes and dreams. What? Huh? Oh. Thanks for uh, letting me know I can claim rewards in the Pokedex again. Even though I already got them. He actually lost? Let's go, guys. No. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. No, 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 no. Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would ya? People have been taking selfies in front of him as Victor for... <laughs> really? Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? Ex-champion. All. Now what happens next? Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BB League champion. Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Oh, sweet. Another Master Ball I'm not going to use. Hey, Kieran. This may not mean much for coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but... I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? 
Just uh, don't let the desire bur uh, burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and win. Next time, come again. I won't lose next time for sure. I'll win. Win, next time I'll win. Say something, say nothing. You okay, dude? It's time to chill out a bit. Asprey, I... Aww. Woof. Um, if we might interrupt. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Asprey our congratulations on becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the thing, way the things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does well complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it for a moment, would you? If Asprey's a champion, then that means she's head of the League Club. But she's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if she doesn't stick around? There's so many particulars to sort out. Oh, uh, yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he'd like to do next. Kieran? Bang bong, bong bang. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four member Drayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, Asprey the Exchange Student, Mrs. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. What could that be about? Now's really not the time. BB League Champion Kieran, huh? They're gonna need to update that. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? It's just not right, and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go ahead, Asprey. We'll meet you there. Alrighty. I'll make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. Hold up a second. Hold up. Just gotta get this one for the social media posts. Yeah. Oh, poor baby. Did he lose? Yeah, he lost. What a baby. He's a big loser. Don't let him don't let it get to you though. <laughs> Perfect, the sinister look. Now let's get a Roar XD one while we're at it, too. Alright, that's enough shame for now. Let's get to- let's move on with the story. Classroom 1-4. Why so mean? He was a big meanie. He- I gave him the power of friendship, and he gave me the power of, uh, being a la lame-o. He gets what he gets! Hey, it's you! That teacher that was in Kitakami with us. Here we are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. I could take out Ogre Pond and make more pictures. Ooh, I should. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Asprey. I heard you were busy battling your way to the top of the BB League. But to think you'd make it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Thank you so much. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's the thing you wanted to tell us about? My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic, then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. 
Area Zero? That's the place in Paldia you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the Terrasol phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokémon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos, a legendary Pokémon. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Oh, hey, it's the champion whose who's setup Pokémon comes out last. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I apologize for my tardiness. Miss Gita! Hmm, Champion Asprey. I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, of course, you must be participating in the Student Exchange po eh, program, not Pokemon. Asprey just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldia. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldia. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off-limits, even for research. That being said... Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokémon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokémon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel. Not to mention time to study Area Zero. So? You reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers and with and bleh, with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Asprey on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. So are you allowed to go to Area Zero if you haven't done, like, the Area Zero finale in the base game? I feel like this is going to conflict with some stuff. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. No, you can't do any of this. You have to be the champion. Okay. Because I thought you could do the story stuff in uh, Kitakami in this place. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? I'm in. I thought you were allowed to go to Kitakami whenever you want. You can do the Kitakami story, but not the Indigo Disc until you beat uh, the base game story. Okay, I see. I guess that makes sense. Splendid! Well said, Champion Asprey. Uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. The League Club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldia, can you? Eh, guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. I'm going. There's legendary Pokemon. I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Oh, we're going to crush his dreams again. Interesting. And it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Asprey, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to the great findings that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Well then, let's go right to it. I ke it keeps telling me to check the Pokedex, but I'm telling you, I... Look. See? I already have all the rewards I can get. There we go. It's been a while, Champion Asprey. Hey, kiddo. Rika's here, too, at your service. Not gonna lie. Never dreamed we'd be running into you. 
It's because I saw Incineroar, I guess. It's telling me I can claim prizes. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as champion. Even while abroad. That's what champions do. Indeed, I'd expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not going to get a scolding for that. That's what champions do. What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking the rules willy-nilly. I'm down, Rika. No harm came to her after all. Didn't we get permission for that? I don't even remember. It, like, we snuck in? Besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldia would have been at risk if Champion Asprey hadn't ventured into Area Zero. We didn't? Well, I don't even remember. Oh, didn't Penny, like, hack it or something? Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. You better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Asprey. This time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened. Obfuscating certain details. Speaking of boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I forgot about that. Champion Asprey, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc? It's the thing! A mysterious disc with an Indigo Shine given to you by the top champion seems to be tied to Area Zero. What's that, TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figure that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. Well, she's there, huh? Do you want her to pick up potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still so much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environments and Pokémon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go too, kiddo, but I got my own work to do. Do your best down there, but don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please excuse us. I got a blue disc now, an indigo disc. Meet up with Mrs. Briar, or Miss Briar. Well, let's go on a big adventure. Sorry, Rika, you can't come with us. She's too busy. Gita never seems to have time for anybody. No wonder she's she's not that great of a trainer. Okay. Torkoal has fainted. I should probably do something about that. Heal it. But not working. All right. Are you ready to travel? Yes, I am. Splendid! We're finally ready to set off, then. Are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel, at least. Well, I'm... fine, anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. <sighs> yeah, right. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. Peggy, I tell you, that boy ain't right. Maybe we should take away that Indigo Disc thing. That's the spirit, Kieran. Alright then, shall we? I need to become stronger, because I can't beat the protagonist. Why can't I win? Not fair. 
I made him mad. Ogre Pawn wins and made him upset. We made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. What are you laughing at? Ah, so you've been here before, right, Asprey? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? Agius. Eek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Er, uh, whatchamadon? Agia? So, you came here with Asprey back then, too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero and see what's even deeper. Deeper down than the Zero Lab? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. His writings are to be believed there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making our area the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Asprey. You can't ride Coridon in here, could you? I don't remember. It's been an eternity since I've been to Area Zero. Oh, never mind. Okay, they're not there. I can just run for it. That means we just go to the bottom, right? Easy. Are they behind me? I hope so. Chad, I think I have some rewards to claim in the Pokedex. At least, I should, but, you know. This is safe, don't worry. I'm a safety expert on motorcycle lizards. Now then. Now, am I looking for something specific here? I have collected the rewards! I'm telling you all I have! Am I supposed to check something? Hang on. Is it for- oh, it's for Kitakami specifically? Oh! But this has been done! What?! I already did this. But I already did that! Like at the end of the Teal Mask DLC. Why is this playing again? <laughs> I'm very confused why that one keeps doing that. I did collect the rewards! I already collected that Moon Ball, it was already highlighted! Did I break the game? I mean, Scarlet and Violet's pretty easy to. Oh, good. The Pokedex is updating. Right, I can only fly to the zero gate. Now, chat, I don't remember where the hell anything is down here, but I know I'm apparently looking for the zero lab. Or a way to get down further. Maybe a gigantic hole will have just shown up somewhere. If you know where I'm supposed to go, feel free to let me know. Oh, hey, Screamtail, what's up? Wait. Darn, I thought maybe it was shiny. I can't remember what the shiny one looks like. It's red eyes that's shiny, ain't it? The answers to the time machine lab? Okay. Is this it? Do I climb up into it? Red eyes and it's a lot more pink, okay. 
Wanted to be sure, because I couldn't remember what Screamtail was supposed to look like. Can't jump off. Stuck. It won't let me off the wall. There we go. Is that it over there? I think it is. Is this it? I think it's the little slope, right? But the door's not there anymore? Or what? Um... I'm looking for a different big ramp. That's where I got the other Coridon. Oh, yeah. So it's not this door. Hi, Dunsparce. Do I follow this little path, maybe? I always get confused when I come down here every time. And it's been, like, a long while since I was last down here. Oh, that's Fluttermane. Another Fluttermane. Oh, there it is. Jeez. Wish you could just fast travel to it. Whoa, this place is insane! Reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So, this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. Yeah, that room. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab. Gates closed, though. Oh, you're right. What do we do? You've been here before, right? We just gotta use the- we just gotta disable the lock, right? It's probably not a good idea to go in there. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. Way past cool. What? I didn't say anything. That's right, you did. You were acting like a big dork. Admit it. Tee hee. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Asprey? Sure, I'll hack it. Kieran wants to be edgy and cool, but he keeps saying wowzers. That's a Screamtail. Screamtail looks like a little friend. It hisses at things. Leave me alone. I want a Screamtail plushie very badly. Access revoked due to prolonged activity. Entrance locked. Pff, damn it. This is what I get for doing the finale a year ago. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? There were four locks before, and... I see, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's talking? Indigo- insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. This is a terrible security system system telling you how to uh beat it with the key. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any, any different from a TM machine. The TMs talk? What? You're telling me they have like text to speech on that crap this whole time? This is blowing my mind. Indigo disc? What could it mean by that? Well, see, I've got this disc, and it's pretty indigo, so I got a feeling. Oh, Gita, you gave you- Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed. You think that's it? Ooh, how fun! Go on, Asprey. Do it. You have my permission. Sure, why not? 
Please insert Indigo Disk. Wow, this thing's got a disk drive in 2023. In you go, disk. Indigo Disk confirm. Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Depths. Rumble, rumble. Really, are people still doing this? Are people still going into random streams, spamming their union code, hoping people will help them trade or grind? Come on, don't do that. Look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. In we go. Let's go in. Why am I so salty? Because you're not here to watch the stream, my dude. You're here to spam messages. Get lost. There you go. <laughs> I get the feeling they've been told off several times already. That's a great thing. Hey, you wanna grind? What do you mean I can't spam it in here? Oh, you're a stupid streamer. Man, this stream sucks. Oh, it's way too dark in here. Just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, huh? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at that. Huh? You're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down. You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> down, you say? Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned? I feel like it's a bad idea to go back there, but sure, it'll be fun. Sure did. How exciting. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. Let's go down. Down to have a good time. I think I can't trust Briar, but I think it'll be really funny if we go down here anyway. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. What panel? That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho oh, ho ho. Where indeed? I knew we should have brought, shouldn't have brought an eccentric scientist to this lab. Bad things usually happen when that happens. It's okay, children. I'm not evil. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Are we some kind of indigo disc or something? Yeah! According to my data, our current position is far deeper than we were where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than the previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anyone's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey, what's all that stuff? Oh, what are our desks doing down here? 
Oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. Dear Diary, today I was a terrible mother. Again. A massive caver cavern exists beneath Area Zero and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terra type the Stellar type for now. But Terrapagos influence be at play. Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what's all this about a stellar terra type? Brilliant! Absolutely marvelous to think there was so much that Heath didn't even write about. These documents are a veritable, veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon, Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. All right, lads, we're going on a fun little adventure. An indigo disc covery, you could say. Wow. This might be such a strange thing to say, but if you were to hide a body down here, I feel like no one would be able to find it. Crystals. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. Hey, what about Wuchimadon, the Pokemon you ride on? Could it smash through? If it could smash anything, I'd use it by now. Hold on, hold on, please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm... Hmm. Glee, glee, glee. There are Pokemon all the way down here. And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back. You know you're no good in a battle, Miss Briar. Kiki. No, Asper, you should handle this. Sure. Let's take it out. Mora. It's gonna attack me. It's got the funny face going on. It became the rupee type. You got a wallet large enough to hold all those? What on earth is that energy? It couldn't be. Not very effective, super effective. Doesn't look like I can terrestrialize right now myself. Her earrings match the crown. Yes, they do. Finish it. Toxic debris, no problem. 93 on my dino. Good work, Asprey. Poof. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have had the stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? 
Why use one type or two when you can use all the types? I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's notes said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you just fought off doesn't fully fit the description, so I don't think it's the Pokémon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it's the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. I can wield all the types. Even Eevee can't do that. It can only wield one at a time. And once it picks one, it's stuck stuck in that form for life. Got a stellar Terra Shard. I wish I could snowboard down here with uh, Goldingo. Hey, Carbink, what's up? I'm assuming everything down here isn't in the blueberry decks. Wouldn't make much sense for it to be there. We're just gonna go on a little light jog. I think we're quite near the end of the game now. Or right in the DLC, I should say. Oh, I can use Coridon here. I'll bet the path will open if we can defeat that sparkly Pokemon. What are you waiting for? Hop on your Whatchamadon and get over to that cliff. Oh, it's Noivern. I couldn't tell what it was at first. Noiver. Here he comes, chat. He's gonna cause fun. Oopsie, just moving a thing here. I'm trying to move my thing here, Jesus. Oh. No, I've earned you as Frisk. Well, Zen Headbutt it is. Sparkly. Now, chat, when you see sparkly things, do you think it looks all crystally or like candy? Dead. We did it! There should be Deancey's in here, but there's Carbink. Deancey's just like a mutated Carbink, isn't it? I don't know. I never caught- I never got it because it was like a vent only, right? Great job, Asprey. The crystal thing is gone now. Noibat fur. Dude, I just skinned the thing, apparently. That Pokemon is called Coridon, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep moving. Fun, fun, fun. Exciting adventures all around. Now saving. Okay, looks like we gotta take out another one. Probably up there. Textures here look different. What's this? You got a blizzard TM. There's another one right there. Oh! Come on, Carbon. Get out of here. I don't be friends with you. You're Carbon for crying out loud. I don't see a big sparkly over here. Or higher up. Maybe I gotta talk to them first about it? Watch your footing. If you slip and fall into the abyss, we won't be able to help you. Oh, this is a path. Dude, from my angle, it looked like it was just a wall. I couldn't see the depth there at all. Am I the only one? This is where we came from, though, isn't it? Is there another sparkly mon here I gotta get? Oh, I see it. If I fall into the abyss, I'm just gonna die? Cool. Death and Pokemon.
That's a Sandy Shocks right there. How's it going? I'm Magneton, but somehow lamer. Somehow it's some kind of rock star. Won't my phone save me? Probably. Sandy Shocks is in fact a Pokemon, I guess. Nah, I can just regular Ivy Cudgel. Get broken down. Sandy Shocks is its own thing, but it looks like it could just be like an alternate evolution to Magneton. Rather than an alternate Magneton. What? Did that break the crystal? No way! I couldn't see that coming! Oh, it's so cold today. I'm stuffy. Snuffy like a little sneeze bear right now. Hey, the path opened up. You're welcome. You obtained that much LP. I don't think there's really much to pick up here, is there? I could sell all the Stardust for a crap ton of money. Let's -a go. No, 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 wait, wait, don't fall, you dork. Max revive. Is this where they come from? Probably. Now that's open for you. What about up here? Oh, you're not going to let me check, huh? Sorry, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther we go down. I just noticed her Rotom phone. It looks like the Scarlet Book. If you're playing Violet version, does it look like the Violet Book? Is that how obsessed she is with it? Come on, we have no time to lose. I also just realized her clothes are both Scarlet and Violet. She has, a uh, Her pants are Scarlet and her, her, her jacket's Violet, yeah. I want to see if this opened up for anything. No, it's still closed. Pick that up. Just a max potion somebody brought down here at one point. Go on, pick up some free goodies. There they all are, chillin'. You handle looking around in the water? I don't want to get my clothes wet. Sure thing, princess. I'll take care of it for you. Check out this big area. Hmm. Maybe I should just quickly change the type of ogre pawn. I've been using the fire one for an eternity, haven't I? The Moomin has changed clothes, and now it's water type. Ogre Pond transformed. Let's fight Minecraft, man. Has there been any official confirmation that this thing was Minecraft inspired? Because it just looks like something you'd see in Minecraft coming at you. Oof. I'm getting stuffy again. Hang on, I need like a quick nasal spray. Oh, I just realized the part of the crystal that looks like the turtle. Angry rock golem. I might need to restore the cudgel thing. 
Hang on, yeah, let me get a drink. Use up some of them leper berries too. I didn't expect this take so long. I mean, if anything, it's mostly the Pokedex uh, fill that's taken the most time, but I am reasonably close to finishing it. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Asprey. Maybe she'd rather have you do it. But you're blabbing and just do it. <laughs> All right, sis, I'll do it. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Look at that big, strong man can do that. Look at this tree in the middle of this, like, big lake. This looks like where you'd have, like, a final boss fight. But it's just, like, uh, what's it? What's its face? Garganackle, whatever you call it. Big adventure. Fix my posture. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Asprey? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on her is all. We should keep going. Oh, he's so stubborn. You two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about spent. Since it's just all I got left, so if something happens, you'd better save me. Maybe you should pack like a billion full restorers like me. I should go ahead and use a quick... No, 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 not the box. Uh... I got this many damn ethers. Jeez, it's like almost negligible carrying those around. Have we reached the end yet? My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. You're right, mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. Seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, but I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. Uh, not you too. Those two sometimes, I swear. Well, maybe I should save. Hit the load zone. Big funky crystal room. I don't see no turtle. I was promised a turtle. Is this, it's a raid den. Oh, you're right. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. Oh, this is where we watch the partner Slowbro lag the game out. The hidden treasure? Where is it? There, Kieran. Up ahead, there's something among the pillars. I'm not making fun of your Slowbro, Fuzzy. Don't worry. I'm just making a general joke. This stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment, I need to check something. Don't. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I could finally beat Asprey. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Asprey has everything I've ever wanted. She's got strong Pokemon, she can go anywhere she wants, she can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pod since forever ago. Even Ogre Pod chose her over me. Kiki, you did your best to. She 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 rejected you. You, you need to move on, okay? 
Even you, says. You were being all nasty towards her at first, but then boom. You're like best friends in no time. I, well. I got nothing. I worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end? This is because I'm not six foot, isn't it? This is all I have left now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull it with everything you got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. You are not helping at all. <laughs> oh, cutscene. He's gonna pull it out now. Oh, it's a green rupee? Really? That's lame. It's worth a whole rupee. There's no doubting it. That crystal must be Terrapagos. One rupee goes a long way in uh, this place. Turtle! Look at it. Hi! Oh, oh, Kieran's gonna be so mad. No! You're mine! <laughs> he threw the master ball. He said no. No! What a freaking baby. That was Tropagos? You caught it, right? Finally! Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were prepared for this. Now I can study Tarapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Tarapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Asprey. I'm also itching to see what Tarapagos can do. Get ready, so we can start. Bro, you don't even have EVs on that thing. Alrighty then. He didn't even reset for a good nature. Bro, it's gonna be an unoptimal legendary. So cringe. He's probably gonna double battle me, so I think I'm good with this. Are you ready? Yes. Alright, get in position. Imagine it comes out and it's level one. I love the cutscene where he's like, where like the turtle saw me and he's like, no, not again. <laughs> Not again. You're not taking another girl from me. I hope you braced yourself. This time I'll definitely beat you, Asprey. Pokemon trainer, Kieran. Oh? New remix? It's all ogre now. Go, Terrapagos. Show Asprey what you're made of. Terra shift. Oh, it's a boss fight like this. I see. Now then. What type is it? Is it gonna be water? I don't even know. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this, I can win for sure. Let's find out. Distorting type matchups. Oh. Oh. So am I guaranteed to get bad or not very effective hits then, huh? Fine then. Sure thing, kid. You see those tears, Kieran? They're yours. The ability makes it so that the first hit at full health will always be not very effective. Oh, okay. Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could we be missing something? Finish it.
Huh, it has a weakness? I thought this was the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Drop what goes fainted. Well, that was easy. Why? I thought if I just had Tarapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it... it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Asprey. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Oh, of course! Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. It's my legendary. You can't have it. I knew it. The Scarlet Book was right. Terrapagos is in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Uh-oh. You almost got blasted by your turtle. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Tropagos to its ball. Okay. Come back. Oh. Huh? It won't go back inside. Why? It just shattered a Master Ball. Yeah, raid battle. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in danger if we can't bring it under control. Sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something, too. We gotta get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Oh, boy. Thank you for the reset there, cool kid lamb chop. 20 months? Hospitality. Thank you. Ogre Pawn is ready. Oops. Two more attacks. Well then, fine. Let's just spam the Ivy Cudgel. It's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Terra Star Storm. Uh-oh. That sounds powerful. Life do. All of a sudden, big monsters. Thank you, Carmine. Very cool. That's big crystal turtle. Wait, you know what I just realized, chat? It's a crystal beast from Yu-Gi-Oh. Whoa. It's all the Crystal Beasts at once. Get healed. Get beamed. Now's your chance. Use Terrestrialized Pokemon to strike back. Get it. Dramatic zoom. Holy moly. 
Brapagos is going to be my friend. Karen didn't earn the right to be the friend with the cool turtle. Oh, he's using follow me. That's right. Distract it, little tea friend. Critical hit. Broke its stance. Absorbed energy. Oh, it's, this is gonna be a really slow ass fight, isn't it? What? It absorbed terrestrial energy? Sorry, little tea friend, you're down. You got nothing left. Oh no, my Sinistra's- Sinistra's all but knocked out. This isn't good, it's too strong. Energy has begun to gather. Don't worry. Change its type. Put up another barrier? Did it use terrestrial energy it absorbed to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Asprey's doing all the work. I, no good. I'm useless. Well then. Let's keep whacking it. Not very effective, huh? Can I see its active type anywhere? Oh boy. Probably have to cycle through a few Pokemans. Ogre is down, critical hit. The baby is down. Okay. It's using Zen Headbutt for the most part, so maybe Meowskerado will be okay. We did two attacks. Okay. Just use Flower Trick. I'm very purple right now. What has Briar done to help other than be the eccentric si scientist? Open. So come to its stance. Oh, we're gonna have to do this two more times now, I think. Doing it again. It absorbed the energy. Surely it can't keep doing that over and over, though. Kiki Aspie's in trouble. You have to help her. But I can't. I can't help anyone. Come on, Kieran. Pull yourself together, boy. Gonna help? You gonna help, bro? He's got his hydrapple now. Better hope it don't become ice type. The music's a remix of the, the raid battle music, yeah. Did it go to water type or ice type? I think it did just do ice. Wait, I can sort of see the crown on top of the crown kind of hard to make it out. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. Either way, the guaranteed credit flower trick is pretty nice. Oh, it is water. Okay, good. No, I don't think that's another crown. That's the reflection of the crown in the crystal. That's just the color, I have to guess, isn't it? There's two hits. Does that mean we get an energy burst or I have to land them? Give it a boop. Critical hits. 
Terra Star Storm. Oh boy, here it comes. Everybody strap in. I lived. All right, now we gotta sit through the Terra animation again. This is a cool concept for a DLC boss. It's a raid battle, but somehow takes even longer with a perfect connection. Flower trick. Hydration and fix my posture. Yes, I will. I'm a good woman. I stay hydrated. Is it good? It looks like it, it, can, it can't absorb any more energy. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Kill. And then catch it in front of Kieran's face. You're down, Turtle Man. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. Catch. I know I can count on you. You got this. That's right, it's mine, not yours. Where's my heal ball? Ah, oh, there it is. Get in the fluffy pink ball. Tropagos was caught. Teddy's win again. That's right, they do. Is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up, too. I looked up to Asprey for so long. I wanted to be like her so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like her after all. Finally, I can let go. You're cool, too. But I just... Wah! I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Wah! Oh, you two must have been so scared. But y'all shone, shone brilli brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our Asprey even managed to catch Tropagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Sniff. Wah. He gave up on his dreams. Heck yeah. You get to cry. You get to cry. Everyone gets to sit there and cry. Now, where are we going? Got seen? Whew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No, scratch that. I need a publisher first. Hey, Asprey? Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everyone a proper ap apology, including you. So I'm sorry. And I guess what I'm trying to say is... 
Now I want to make things right. Oh, the sun's gonna rise behind him. So do you think... Could we start over from zero and be friends again? Sure, but Ogre Pond is still mine. Hey. We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Damn, lighting in a Pokemon cutscene? This must have taken all the budget. It's called Area Zero, because that's where friendship started over. Okay, we've reached the end of the credits, which I'm probably going to have to mute and cut for YouTube because it plays the Ed Sheeran song again. And <laughs> yeah, that absolutely can't go in. Look at the happy pictures. Look at the happy pictures. Now what's up with me? Back to Blueberry Academy. Bing bong, bong bing. This is an announcement for the following students. Asprey from Naranja Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in Classroom 1-4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the Terrastall phenomenon. Just announce it to the whole school, why don't you? Let's go to 1-4. I'm guessing she's gonna tell me about the uh, legendaries, huh? Hey, I was pretty glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the Underdepths? Yeah, sure. Oh, youth is really is an enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book, but don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila, a proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher, just for you. You got a copy of Briar's book. Okay. Pro uh, proof copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero Under Depths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the Under Depths. I don't know what, what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. But there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your Terra Orb? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kirin's and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were exposed directly to the energy from Terrapagos. Kirin and Carmine say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokémon without charging their Terra orbs. Oh, so I just don't have to charge that anymore? Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to the deep, those deep depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs out from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldian soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I collected from the underdepths to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokémon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium, and they have the stellar Terra-type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Stellar type terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of the same type will get the boost. In Terra Raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Oh, and there was one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos then. Well then. Random man in blue suit, huh? Well, now that I can move, can I check my cool lizard? Level 85, stellar type. Best, best, best. Oh, everything except attack is decent. Aren't only three of these supposed to be guaranteed best? Where do you want to go? It said entrance, right? It, it's set to the same IVs for everyone, is it? It's 
snack worth here. Ooh, would you be... Uh, would you look at the cut of your jib? You must be the one everyone's talking about. You're the Paladin Exchange student, Asprey. Or my name's not Snacks Snacksworth. Yes, call me Snacksworth. I do love see to see the young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement. Especially the kids who really give their all for the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats, made just to the taste of a certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. That suit is not blue. Yeah, you're telling me. So come give old snacks worth the latest whenever you've been hard at work at BBQs. Okay. You've completed 10 solo quests. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks. Reshiram tree. Oh, this is how you get the legendaries. You know, just, just a casual snack favored by the legendary Pokemon Reshiram. There's a Reshiram treat. You know, Reshiram, rightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Reshiram, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. See, I saw Reshiram with my own eyes out near a town that I'd passed through in Paldia. It was a town where a lot of hard-working folk live, the type that get their hands dirty. I climbed up to a nice height to look out upon their hard work carved into the landscape. I was just remarking to myself what a fine show of effort it was when I seemed to feel a presence behind me. And when I turned, bam! There was Reshiram right there at my shoulder. I figure it must like good old-fashioned hard work, too. It just loves that snack you have there, so you might have a shot at meeting it, too. If you run into old Reshiram, be sure to give it my best. How do you just know that, dude? Like, Reshiram is one of the sacred beings in this entire region right now. That's really weird. And it can just do that. So, quick question. How do I find the Raikou and Entei? Are they just chilling at Area Zero if I go back there? Or do I find them, like, somewhere... Oh, Photo Girl. That would make sense. I did complete a lot of the decks. Let's go back to the terrarium. I should have more than enough entries. I forgot to check with her. She said, like, 200 entries? Because I'm thinking I'm at 217 now. Let's check with her. Hey, Esprit, don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the Terrarium? Impressive. It was hard work. Well, look at you, putting on all that effort. I like to see that in a kid. You probably know more about the Pokemon in the Terrarium than I do. And I got here first. I guess you've earned yourself a hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Mm -hmm. See those strange Pokemon? The first one's called Gouging Fire, and the other one's Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'll be a huge deal. Apparently these places are in Paldia. You have any idea where? Yeah? Are they famous spots? I want to visit them. Of course, you know how it is these days. These photos could totally be fakes. But if you want to know for sure, maybe you should go try and search these Pokemon out. I can show you photos again anytime. Just give me a shout. And if you fi and find me something good, I've got faith in your survey skills. Okay. So now I can catch those two, right? Let's check the box now. Go to the empty socket here. Little baby teddy. Guess we want a level 100 teddy or so, but maybe I should put it away for now. I should focus on training up some of the stuff we have here, right? Get some of these other dex entries right quick. Um, quick question. What is the final total for the dex I need? I actually don't know. Oops, ah, wrong thing. Get some of these lads taken care of while I talk right now. It's 240 total. Okay, 240 total. So here's the thing, though. Currently today, I've been streaming for almost seven hours. So 
It's starting to look like it would be very irresponsible of me to s s try and do it all in one sitting tonight. You know what I mean? I think maybe I should call it a night, and maybe in a couple days I'll just do like a, a, a relaxed couple hours to finish this off. Let me just fill the decks a little bit here. Because I need to get the legendaries, I don't want to do it while I'm pissy trying to finish it. And I still really want to play Lies of P tomorrow, so I'm going to do that. When Pig Knight enters battle, it bo its body temperature rapidly soars until Pig Knight itself is engulfed by a scorching fireball. Quite literally, there's nothing big left to do except catch the legendaries and trade for the exclusives, right? So I think we could probably just take a couple hours to do that on a day that works better for some other people if they can trade with me. Arm thrust? No, thank you. Let's just go ahead and get Embor and call it, and call it for the night. There we go. Yeah, level it up. A lot of uh, the stream will definitely be. There's a little bit more story involving Briar's book. Is there? Well, I can take a look at that too next time, but. Realistically speaking, it should not take me, like, another three, four hours to do it to finish this off, right? I expected this to be as long as the Teal Mask, but completing the decks really did take a bit longer than expected. Even the fact that I cut all of the BP grinding. The flames blazing deep inside Embor's chest erupt vigorously from its chin, forming a beard of fire. Should not? Okay. Cool. So let me take a quick peek here. Uh, in my decks, I mean. 220. So I need 20 more Pokemon. That's probably the best. Hold up, I should check Tarapagos's entry. Tarapagos protects itself using its power to transform energy into hard crystals. This Pokemon is the source of the Terrastal Phenomenon. So it's basically like Paldia's Eternatus, right? Yay. A lot more stuff to do for completion. Well, I'm only going for the Pokedex completion once the story's done, so that shouldn't take much longer. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So we're a few days into the future. We're back to Pokemon Scarlet. I have a few more Pokemon to get, and now we is a good time to actually trade for some of that stuff we're missing. Last thing I did was get Embor. Hang on, let me go to the Poke Portal. Do you have a Lolan Golem ready? Because I could I could just send that to you if you want to send back a Lolan Golem. Okay, we're getting the Paradox exclusives for Violet. Thank you. Loving the game. You don't have it? Okay, the next trade, I'll just send you, um... I can just send you the Graveler. Or just do it right now. Here. Trade this right now, and you can send it right back to me. Waiting for another person's decision. I don't get to see it evolve with me. I was so naive to think that I could upload this as one thing, I know. I, I streamed this like the first couple days it came out, and boy, much longer than I expected. Mostly because of the tediousness of the starters, but that's okay. We're pretty much done. Oh, by the way, did you guys see that they announced that there's an epilogue for this now that comes out in January? So that's probably one last stream of this game I might be doing. Iron Crown. Don't know if that's going to add anything to the decks, but... It resembles a mysterious object introduced in a paranormal magazine as a cutting-edge weapon shaped like a Kabaleon. Steel Psychic. Okay, we're filling out that dex. Now I'll send the Iron Crown back. Let's do it. They announced it quickly because people data mined that there's an epilogue right away. Oh, of course. There's the Alolan Golem. Why does... Am I, like, losing my mind? But you think after, like, the past decade or so of people knowing what's in the files, they might finally understand that people are going to know what's in the files right away? I mean, they have to know at this point, right? Like, what's the reason that they keep doing it? I, I just don't get it. It's like, remember when they released a demo for Oraz and people just, like, checked the files of the demo and found out all the Mega Evolutions before they were, re re before they were revealed? 
Let's go. Surely the devs know, but like, I think it's more of like somebody in up the chain thinks they can just do it anyway. It's grumpy and stubborn. If you upset it, it discharges electricity from the surface of its body and growls like with a voice like thunder. Perfect. Now then, I guess I can just send anything back and forth now, can I? So we can just touch stray the other stuff. Iron Boulder, that's what it's called? Okay. Verizion was Iron Leaves, correct? Welcome to the stream, friend. Welcome to the super special late night special of, um, of, uh, Picaspri here finishing off the decks. Waiting, waiting, waiting. People said that, like, trades kept disconnecting the other day because I guess the servers were overloaded. Is that true? Wait, it has Magnet Pull as an ability? Okay. Interesting. Send the golem back and forth a few times. Back, you're out of breath. I get you. I get you. Not exactly the same, but I was sweating after fighting the Black Rabbit Brotherhood in Lies of P. <laughs> I streamed that for way too long before this. It resembles a Pokemon described in a dubious magazine as a Terrakion that has been modified by an evil organization. Cool. And now we got that. And send it back. And is that everything? I don't think I need to trade for any more of them, right? Golem and the two Violet Paradoxes. I should be able to stone and level up what everything else I have, correct? Okay, we can do that then. Thank you all for being here, chat. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate y'all put up the technical difficulties and everything. I have streamed so much the past few days, and I have a ton of editing I need to do with it. Yay! Golem's back. Alright, thank you, Yo-Yo. Now let's back out and get some of the other ones done. Training partner chose to quit. Help editing. No, 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 I'm fine. I can do it. I know exactly what I need done. I just gotta sit down and do it. Oh, look, that little Charmander was hanging out the whole time. Taking a look at the decks. Got the Beast Ball. And I don't know what that is. An ability patch? Okay. What's over here? Just more Charmander friends? Look at him. Before anything else, you know what we should just do? Let's get the starters done. It's been a few days. I can just go back to giving them candies. Charmander says hi. He knew you were trading. Charmander can be such a little friend, can it? Funny little War Turtle. Give you that next X. War Turtle's long furry tail is a symbol of longevity, so this Pokemon is quite popular among older people. New to me. And catching, um, got, what were they called again? Gouging Fire and, um, oh, what was the Raikou one called? I immediately forgot. New Blastoise model. It deliberately increases its body weight so it can withstand the recoil of the water jets it fires. Raging Bolt. That was it. Thank you. Just like there's no way to get normal Typhlosion in Legends without transfer, correct? Before battle, it turns its back on its opponent to demonstrate how ferociously it fi its fire blazes. It's been hard to find time for everything today. I've done so many long streams. But I did still want to finish this off. This will probably end up being the shorter of the streams this week. Because tomorrow, Dylan... Um, Dylan invited me to do more Lethal Company. There was a raid for the Hisuian stuff? Oh, okay. Well, Lava of all the type Lotion. It has a secret devastating move. It rubs its blazing fur to cause huge explosions. Nonsense. Type Lotion can't learn explosion. Let's do it. Here we go. I say I don't have time, but then the other day, I just did like a three and a half hour 
Castlevania rando on top of everything because I wanted to. Heck yeah, video games are fun. Its strongly developed thigh muscles give it astounding agility and jumping performance. Someone just sent you a Hitmonchan through a surprise trade. Really? Well, don't worry about trading that to me, because I just have to feed some irons to a Tyrogue. It's agility, er, or sorry, it agilely flits through the air, through the jungle, and uses the sharp edge leaves on its arm to cut down its prey. While we waited for the DLC. Well, not quite a year, but you know what I mean. It's like, hey, look, do you want Mewtwo? And I'm like, not really. Well, Aladdin? Aladdin? Well, yeah, Quilladin, I guess. It's protected by a sturdy shell. The shell is also very heavy, which naturally naturally strengthens Aladdin's ability. Lower body. I can't read today. I'm just trying to fill in the words without stumbling, and I say the wrong thing. That landmass in the background just popped in. People say Chestnut sucks. Probably does, but I like it. When its allies are in trouble, Chestnut creates a shield with its arms and uses its own body to block attacks. The raids for Hisuians were like in November, were they? Or at the start of December. And see. Let evolve the Torah Cat. At its throat, it bears a bell of fire. The bell rings brightly whenever a few, uh, fire spews out. Cool. Hello, friend. Welcome. Just give me Incineroar. It's all we need. Just a few more candy. A few more candy. Gimme! It really zoomed out for Incineroar. Wait, what, what? He's not doing the pose. He's just standing there. What happened, Incineroar? When its fighting spirit is set alight, the flames around its waist become especially intense. It's not doing that little pose. Darkest Lariat? Nah. Hmm. Let's check the decks. Ability patch, and then there's the final one up there. Seven more volumes for the next reward. Okay, there's Gouging Fire and Raging Bolts. Let's go get ourselves a Tyrogue, though. We know what we need to get. Let's go grab them. Um, hang on. They're literally everywhere in the canyon. Like, you can't not find them. The Wrestle Cat. A super cool lad, Snipple. There's no reason to really battle the trainers. I'm gonna grab you. You come with me. Hold up. Is the audio too low? I can turn it up a bit. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Football. We need this sucker right here for Hitmonchan. Almost had it. It went for the fake out. Tyrogue is like my natural enemy lately. It keeps showing up, especially in the egg lock. And I can't catch the, any damn things because it just won't get caught. Throw a repeat ball. I found tons of shinies. Almost too many. Even more off uh, between streams. When I was grinding the BP for the starters. This earnest Pokemon battles all sorts of... What am I reading this for? I've already done that. We're going to add it to the party. Send Goldengo back. Send Pokemon as is. Okay. I got that Incineroar right there. I'm doing just fine, friend. I found Tyrogue's sweat. Yes, I did. Where is it? Protein, iron. Like four. Let's have a look at it. Uh, its defense is now 68. Yeah, that's definitely high enough. Just give it a couple candies and it should evolve to Hitmonchan, no problem.
There we go. Tyro, guess I'm robbing. I have no idea, friend. I don't really grind shinies. There it is. Tyrogue evolved in the Hitmonchan. He's just standing there. He's not even going in the boxer pose. It corners its foes with combo punches from both sides and finishes them off with a single straight punch launched at over 300 miles per hour. That sounds pretty painful. Wants to learn Drain Punch. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. You learned a good punch move. That stab. There we go. I don't need anybody around here. Um, think, 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 think. Go to the box. He knows I'm not going to use him, so why would he bother getting in pose? I suppose that's also true. Okay, I need to evolve a couple things. I need one of my slow poke, and I need to go get more... Hang on, I need to ice stone you. Put the tanny away for a second. Where is it? Where is it? I need my other slow poke. I need... God, what do I need? Oh, I had a Tyrogue anyway. Damn it, its defense was already better than attack. I could have just taken that out. Silly me. No big deal, no big deal. I already got Malamar from a raid. I'll take Slowpoke. Where is uh, Derludin? Derludadon? Where'd I catch that stupid thing? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. I need to use the metal alloy on this thing. Hmm. So, sorry, what's down here? Yeah, there it is. Peculiar metal that makes a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Okay. Let's get this thing. Oh, he's gonna evolve on the cliff. That's not good. He's a cool bridge guy now. It gathers static electricity from its surroundings. Or... Surrounding the beams it launches when down on all fours are tremendously powerful. It can't turn into a skyscraper anymore, so now it's a bridge. Electroshock? Nah. Hmm. Trying to think, trying to think... I guess, yeah, let's just, let me just use the Ice Stone. And then I'm gonna go get the remaining uh, Galar, uh, Galar Twigs to make the crown. We're so close. The last couple I'm gonna need are... Raikou and Entei, basically. Did I pass it? Oh, there they are. Ice Stones are so obnoxiously common everywhere. Well, in the Ice Biome in Paldia, in the Ice Biome here, anyway. Pokemon steal spikes or sheath the ice. Stabs from these spikes cause deep wounds and severe frostbite as well. Ow. Icicle spear? Nope. The Reludons, um, look like, looks like a stapler remover. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? I can't remember the damn thing's name. I don't know if I care too much. Those are Scythers and friends. Hang on. I'm going to the beach so we can get what we need. I should need just a few more. I was close last time and it's been a few days, so I imagine the beach must be fully refreshed of the items. Show me the sparklies. There's just a lantern roaming around. That's cool. Slowpokes are everywhere. No, that's not what I need. Oh, no. Is it only in-game time they respawn? Not when you turn off the thing? Hold up. There's one. Galerica twig. 
that should be enough, but is there any extra to pick up? I know I need 15. Hold up. You give me what I need now. The wreath. Yeah. Okay, good. I thought I didn't have enough. Gimme, here you go, freshly woven. Placing on the head of a Galarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon very happy. Try using on Slowpoke. Gimme. We're so close. So many, so few remaining Pokemon left. Hang on, what am I doing? If I go from the top, I can reach it. I already got Galarian Slowpoke, so let's get this one. Poor thing, looks like it's in pain. It administers its potions to weaken Pokemon it sees. These potions are derived from poison and secreted from holes in Slowking's horns. Okay, then. It's a Hexpert Pokemon. Oh, my. Eerie spell. No, 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 you're good, friend. Okay, time to check the decks. What are we missing? Three Pokemon. Who is missing outside of, um, the legendaries? I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Overquill. Hang on. It just needs to level up with Bar Barrage, correct? Slowking looks so happy. Yes, it does. Okay, when did I catch that? When did I catch that? Where is Quillfish? Where is Quillfish? I know I caught you at some point. Ah, oh, crap. Did he end up somewhere else? Quillfish, Quillfish, Quillfish. Don't see him there. Over here. I see it now. Doesn't know the move. I could probably just teach it to it. It's level 70, so it should automatically have it, I think. Change moves, bar barrage. There it is. One, two, there you go. And now I just give it a candy. And then it's time to go legendary hunting. Love to see it. Yeah, why can't Stantler be allowed to evolve if they made Quillfish evolve, right? You think they want to patch that in or something? Does is Sant is Stantler unable to get Psy Shield Bash or whatever? Overquill obtained. Overquill's poisonous spikes will reflexively react even when Overquill sweeps sleeps, stabbing any moving thing it approaches. Okay. Now, I want to go here, because apparently she can give me something real good. Let's do this. We're just stopping by New York. No problem. No big deal. Before we go legendary hunting. Asprey. You have my thanks for all you've done to help the League Club and to help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it's not as if he can I he and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I'm glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I've been swept up in joy to such an extent that I prepared a tremendous amount of the flight enabling supplement used in my trial. Please feed your Agius as an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. Yeah, have some. Yes. Chomp chomp. What? You want to fly right now? 
Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such large... The Rhydon will be able to fly now. Well, that's handy. It would seem your Agius has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish it to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there's a super hard course for me at my flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you're ready. Well then, Paridon can now fly freely through the air if you press the left stick while gliding. Paridon will keep moving forward automatically while it's flying. If you press the left stick again, it'll go back to gliding. Well then, that is pretty useful. So you just get this once you're done with the DLC. Well, done with the story anyway. Hold up, change map. So I can just hop in the crater from anywhere, right? Let's do that. Oh, come on. Fine then, we'll go back to the terrarium first. Just the entrance should be fine. Yeah, I know. There's an epilogue update planned. Apparently they just they announced it because people already data mined that it was there. Let's go here. Yes, fly to this spot. I don't know what the epilogue really entails. Is it just a teensy bit of story? Are they updating the decks again? We'll have to see. Just hop on a little plane. Back to Spain. I almost said Japan, and then I'm like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. What is that? Oh, it's just the mouse friends. It feels weird seeing the natural dex Pokemon here again. I've spent so long in the terrarium. Let's climb. Hang on, I should probably just fly. Wow. So, so I can just do this now, really. That is awesome. It's actually a pretty nice thing to get as a reward, I have to say. Just no downside, I just straight up fly. <laughs> Come on. Let's hop in. I did see that. Apparently Penny, Arvin, and uh, Nimona, that's her name. I haven't seen them in forever because they just didn't participate in the DLC. All right, I wonder how Arvin's been doing. Probably uh, dealing with his with uh, processing his family issues. I'm sure he's fine. At the top of the waterfalls, everybody. That's what the picture showed. So there. The paradoxes are in different spots, depending on which version you're playing. Iron Boulder and Iron, uh... Cabalion. There we go. No, I haven't gotten the Crystal Pool. I'm completing the decks. Which shouldn't take me too long. I was worried it was going to take me a couple hours, but... We're down to the last two Pokémon. Iron Crown, thank you. And I, of course... Oh, yep. Yeah. Really, that's what it looks like. I should get out my Dragonite to paralyze. You know, that won't work on the Raikou one. Where did I put him? There it is. No, 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 no. Take that back. Hi, you want to be friends? And Gra. What is that crown on you? It's like you got your own Suicune crown. I should just try the quick ball first, honestly. Gouging fire is just Entei with a funny hat. Hey, it's an old funny hat. Darn. 
Entei doesn't really, or sorry, Gouging Fire doesn't really look like a dinosaur like Walking Wake and Raging Bolt do. Okay, let's do it. Got him. Walking Wake and Iron Leaves actually aren't part of the decks for completion. What's weird is that they're also labeled after Terrapagos and not next to the trio, which bothers me so much. I'll go back to Ogre Pond and False Swipe now. It's got a crown like a Triceratops. Oh, yeah, I can kind of see that. Kind of. Burning Bulwark. But it failed. Let's hit it. Oh, it protected itself. What's what does that do though? Oh, okay, it's burn protect. So this Entei form is basically like some kind of defensive thing. Oh, you did not just two times that in a row, buddy. I think I'm gonna need the timer balls soon, chat. I think I'm gonna need the timer balls. Burned. I could just try using the Ivy Cudgel now, or a Brick Break. Are you serious? Oh, that's that's him, not me, silly me. Ogre Pond was hurt by the burn. There we go. If you touch it, you get burnt. And that's not good. Mm. Get in the heal ball, because I said so. One, two, three. Damn, that was close. I can just hold up for the critical capture then. If I use a heal ball, it'll save me a trip to the Pokemon Center. How bad are their catch rates compared to the normal trio? Where they just break out of 10,000 balls. Ogre Pond was hurt by the burn. I'll hit it with one more attack. There we go. Hmm. You can still critical capture against these things, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if, like, the chance of critical capture is, like, dependent on the Pokemon itself or the catch rate formula. I don't actually know. I'm gonna catch rate of 10. Yeet it and delete it. Oh, come on. Dependent on the catch rate, there's a whole site dedicated to calculating it. Okay. Ogre Pond's down now. That's annoying. Hmm. Should be fine to tank damage here. Oops, wrong thing. Throw another heal ball at him. Oh, come on. Catch rate of 10 compared to Entei's catch rate of 3. Almost a lot more easier to catch then, huh? Ah. I don't think it's going to get in the heal ball. But I'm going to keep throwing them because I want... Hey, there we go. One more Pokemon and the Dex is done. Kind of. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. Alrighty.
Send it to the box. Thank goodness it healed. Now then, let's try another waterfall, because I think the other one's also there, right? Being able to fly is pretty cool. If there's a Blood Moon Ursaluna, Ursaluna do you think that there should be... Raging Bolt's at the base of a waterfall. Okay, so I'll have to go to the bottom then. The same waterfall or a different one, probably? Hang on. If there's Blood Moon Ursaluna, there should be Blood Moon Teddy Ursa. I don't remember what Blood Moon Ursaluna's uh, Pokedex said, though. Making sure there's nothing around here. Bloody Bears. Bloody bears. Maybe this was the wrong place to go. Oh, hey, it's this area. This is where a roaring moon shows up, right? I see friends walking around. Am I too far down? I think I'm too far down. It's not the right waterfall, it seems. No, it's just you guys. Ah. Wait. Damn it, how do I get out of here? It'll take too long, I may as well just warp out. Hang on. It's like at the midpoint between the crystal caves and where I just was. Okay. That's also where you get Iron Valiance and Violet, right? Wait. It probably would have been awkward as hell to fly up the waterfall, so... Easier to just reset here. Magazone chilling around. You'd think that uh, leveling up in Area Zero would do something fancy. Back in we go. Let's find something cool. Find a different waterfall, I guess. I can never find my way around Area Zero. I always just get lost. Everything kind of looks the same until you get to, like, the Crystal Caves. So, is it the same waterfall as where I found Entei, or er, Gouging Fire at the top? Or is it... It doesn't look like that one led to anywhere, so it's probably this. So it's not that one? Or wait, is that where I found him? Oh, Diamond, I don't even know which one I'm looking for now. It's the one I'm flying towards. Okay, good. Good. Looks like it could be around here, then. Just wait for it to pop into existence. Not here, it seems. No, 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 no. Do this. It should be. Hold up. It should be right around here. It might not have spawned in. Oh, no. Hold up. Let me just get off a of flying mode and run over here. I see a flamigo. Not over here, is it? Turn around. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, come on. The camera does not like this flying. Where the water's crashing down. 
Hang on. Maybe I didn't get close enough because I didn't see anything pop in there. No, I don't see anything here either. Are we sure this is the right spot or is there a different base of the uh, waterfall? It should be right there. Oh. Then you're sure it's the it's raging bolt specifically. So I just caught gouging fire, so it's gotta be. Maybe there is another one that just looks really similar. You see what I mean? Maybe I'll try that one across. How about that? It's probably this waterfall it's at. You're just gonna wait a little bit to get there. It's gotta be the one across. I can't wait until we get more cards of some of these lads. I mean, we're at the recent set where they have um, Paradox Pokemon as cards, but we're probably not going to see the DLC mons for a bit. I'd like to get an Ogre Pond card. There it is. Yep. I mean, I should probably heal Ogre Pond. Not that I'm going to send them against that or change their form. Make a quick save. Long neck dinosaur. Oopsie. Yo, what's up? Rygo. What even are you? Hmm. That won't work on him. What am I doing? I didn't even think about that. Just hit with Twister. There's a theory that for Sandy Shocks, Fluttermane, and Screamtail, they're past forms of, of uh, Magneton, Mistrevis, and Jigglypuff, but not their evolutions, is because the stones needed to evolve them didn't exist back then. Oh, I, I see what you mean. I think I just read it out loud poorly. I'll use another Twister. It should be okay. So it's a dragon electric, it seems. Heal ball. Critical capture. First try. Damn. I don't think this is a fusion with Giraffarig, no. Send out Miascarada. Oop, I gotta stand on the little floaty. Last Pokemon. Get in the ball, buddy. No! Rising Voltage. I like how its mane wraps around its face like a little thundercloud. Dragon Hammer. Bro, how many moves are there now that I just don't know about? I feel like every time I blink, there's a new Pokemon move now. Damn. And I don't know what half of them even do anymore. The DLC added quite a few of them, too. Okay. If he won't get in the heal ball... We can hit him with the timer ball, maybe. Dragon Hammer was Alolan Exeggutor's signature move. Oh, <laughs> is that why he has it? I see. I often forget about a lot of signature moves, because I just don't play competitive. You don't really need to know all the moves when you play casually in this. Dragon Hammer. Ow. Long neck exclusive moves. Oh, Tropius can now learn the move, too. Oh, that's cool. Too bad Tropius isn't Dragon-type. <laughs> Come on, fellas. This is the last Pokemon. You get this, and we're good. Damn. Get in the ball. 
tall dino friends. What weirds me out about the Paradox uh, trio is that if Raikou, Entei, and Suicune were supposed to be reborn Pokemon... Wait, you know what would be really funny? What if Raging Bolt, Gouging Fire, and Walking Wake were the three Pokemon that died in the Burn Tower? They just went through a time por portal right as the tower burned down, and Hoa was like, you know what, I'll bring him back. And then that's how the, the Johto Trio came to be. Why the heck not? Or maybe we could just pretend they're Flareon, Vaporeon, and uh, Jolteon again. <laughs> there are multiple forms of the beast now, yes, but Pokemon is weird about canon. Come on, get in the pretty pink ball. No critical. Arg almost had it. And now it's using Dragon Pulse. Alright, send in the Ogre then. See if I care. No critical. <laughs> It needs to... Hey, wait, it's that yellow? I thought it was that red. Let me just false swipe it right quick. Speed that up a bit. Technically better odds! <laughs> and they never want to get in the pretty pink ball. Why? You know, I never actually checked when I caught Walking Wake in. There goes my chance of, uh, having a trio. Oh, hey, there we go. Last Pokemon obtained. No experience for that. It is said to incinerate everything around it with lightning launched from its fur. Very little is known about this creature. Well, that's why I caught it. To learn about it. It's very tall. And that's that. Oh, a free Master Ball. Okay. Blueberry Academy isn't here. See Director Serrano at Blueberry Academy. Cool. Congratulations on completing the Blueberry Dex. It's cool. Another Dex complete. Throw a Master Ball at, at a shiny Pokemon, because you can. That's what you do. Or throw it at a Legendary like Kieran. Hang on a second. Gotta fly here and go the entrance. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let's go do that thing that everyone's already spoiled for me the past week. After this. I have to go to the, 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 the lake at the top of Kitakami, don't I? Maybe I should tell you that I caught them. What? Isn't that the Pokemon from the picture? It's a real-life gouging fire! Just look at the shape of its head! There are rumors that say this fellow can make magma erupt from the ground just by roaring. If that were true, then this thing would be a real fearsome threat to face. Now let me just snap a couple photos. This could mean the other Pokemon I showed you is real, too. Report back to me if you find it. I got that, too. Huh? That Pokemon. Isn't that from the picture? A Raging Bolt? That neck is. Boy, that neck. It's almost too much to fit in one frame. Rumor has it that this fellow can cover the whole sky with dark clouds and bring lightning crashing down just by swinging that neck around. If that were true, then this thing would be a fearsome threat to face. Now let me just snap a couple photos. I'm not even going to take it out of the ball. She's just that good. Wow, you actually went and found them both. Can't even be surprised. That's just like you, Asprey. Between you and me, 
I was having a hard time focusing on my own work. Couldn't keep my mind off those photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise any reward or anything, but I gotta thank you for putting the mystery to rest. Here you go. This prize is a real catch. A sport ball. A special ball used during the bug catching contest in Jot- Damn! When they're adding the Pokeballs to this game, uh, the new gens, they're really going out of their way to get the most obscure random crap now, huh? <laughs> okay. That is a really specific, specific reference there. You don't get to keep those. Did she steal them? It was brought back in Gen 8. Didn't see that one. It's wild how much mystery is left in the world, isn't it? When you're a kid, you can just run wholehearted wherever you want, but it's not so easy when you get older. You keep running, Asprey. Find unknown Pokemon. Have grand adventures. Do it for me. Now I think I'd better get back to work. It was stupidly rare in Gen 8, really. It's just a Pokeball with a little symbol on it. It's the most prized possession among collectors now. Less than 1% chance to get it from the Cremorant. The Terrarium really is something out of this world. Hard to remember unless we're under the sea. You can simply stroll from an ice-covered mountain to a tropical island. It's a photographer's dream, being able to take photos of all these different environments. Oh, get out of the way, Doduo. No, no, no. Run from the battle. We don't need any more from Cheese String, dude. Now let me go get that diploma. Everyone's fainted. Oops. It's fine. I want to go to the entrance. I want that guy who only showed up at the very beginning to give me a diploma to make me feel special. I demand things, good sir. Hey there. Hey there, Asprey. Looks like you caught 240 species of Pokemon in the terrarium. Except for some reason you're, we're counting Paldean Paradox Pokemon as two of those. Hold on, does that mean you filled the entire thing? That should literally be impossible. Yes, it does. You've completed the Blueberry Pokedex. Congratulations. We should have all the data we need on the Pokemon living in the dome now, thanks to you. This is really impressive, you know. Not a single Blueberry Academy has managed it yet. Here, you deserve a special something to celebrate. Pretty sure this counts as special. The Mark Charm. Having one of these mysterious, unique charms makes it more likely you'll encounter a Pokemon with a mark. Oh, th th that's it? Why, hello, Director Serrano. And hello to you too, Miss Asprey. Your study's going well, I hope. Welcome, Veli. You're not going to believe what Asprey just accomplished. Upon my word. It seems you're making quite the splash here at Blueberry Academy. I knew I'd pick the right student for this program. While Director Serrano has given himself a hearty pat on the back, allow me to reward you with a small gift. Students who achieve great feats such as this deserve to be recognized for their hard work. This congratulatory message penned by the company that certifies Pokedex completion is for you. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Blueberry Dex. May this feat be celebrated by all. And it has Terrapagos in like that old Sugimori style. I like how the the diploma for Kitakami has Ogre Pawn in that style too. It's so cute. I can reconfigure your Pokedex so that you may view your diploma there anytime you like. You haven't changed, have you, Veli? You've always been good at this sort of thing. Oh no, this really is nothing. Also, Director, once again, I must insist you address me properly in front of the stoop. I'm just glad your treasure hunt at my academy has been a success, Asprey. I hope you keep spending time with Pokemon all in the terrarium. Director, I do appreciate your kind words, and I hate to interrupt, but I would like to confirm to you that 
you will no longer refer to me as Veli in front of... Are you even listening to me? He just didn't matter. No, he's kind of just there, isn't he? Okay, diploma obtained. So now I guess we go to Kitakami for one more thing. Let's go. Crystal pool, right? So you just don't have any indication to do this and people found this. Let's check it out. Wait for it to load. So who or what am I looking for here? Oh, I just walk up to it? No, I'm good. This is all I need to do. I'm done the decks. Terra Lumi. Uh, hi. Well now, this is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space-time? And who are you? Are you the AI? What's that you say? You thought I was some robot imbued with an AI personality. Now that's an idea. If I could create such a thing, it would be quite helpful. I'm Professor Sada. I research Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... Agias. Hey, before you go, could I tell you, just give you a different tip as well? Maybe be a better mother, for perhaps? What? This Pokemon. Is this the Wicked King? We call it Koridon. Is that right? So its name is Koridon. Oh, no. You're telling me I just Paradox invented its name? Holy moly. Hmm, that's a good name. Agian? From the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I would have to conclude. From your perspective, I must have come from the past. Though, of course, the complexities of space-time are beyond count. It's possible that our encounter might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can and what little time that fate has gifted us? Yes, I'm begging you. Call your son. Hang out with him. For the love of everything. Maybe I could warn her about a little explosion somewhere, too, while I'm at it. But no, we're not going to do that, are we? Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and next thing, I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place. Or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Is there anything else you'd want to ask? What are you studying? I'm researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines, so I might... Okay. Timelines. I guess that confirms Paradox Mons really are quite paradoxes after all. Hmm. So I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. It sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I am drafting plans now for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let go. But... Progress has been slow and beset by failures. I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. I desperately hope that I might glean some new insight from this conversation so I can finally make some progress and return home. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Uh, yeah, what about your family? Oh, you wish to know about my private life? I do have a family. A son. He's probably at home right now. Well, no, I suppose right now could be inaccurate. Whenever and wherever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Now, let us trade places in this exchange. I'd say the time has come for my own questions. 
What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldia. This is the land of Kitakami. So we're at Kitakami's Crystal Pool, huh? I remember reading about it in certain texts. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground imbued with terrestrial energy. It would seem that I have been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question, then. That Pokemon you have, the Winged King, I mean, Coridon, tell me more about it. Uh, it's a precious partner to me. Yes, well, your personal attachment to the creature has no meaningful relevance to the... Oh, forgive me, perhaps that was rude. Agia. Hmm, that book you have there. I don't recognize its cover. What is it? The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Would you let me see it for a moment? Descriptions of the Area Zero Under Depths and a record of Terrapagos' awakening. Who is this Briar to have written such a work? Descendant of Heath? Was that established? He's a teacher of mine. A school teacher plumbing the depths of Area Zero. Access is supposed to be limited to myself and certain members of the Pokemon League. At any rate, this is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I simply must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. Uh-oh. Oh, the mist is closing in once again. I assume that means our time is near its end. Gyas Gya. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Winged King, but I must hurry. That book, I imagine it must be quite valuable. Wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any recomp- uh, recomp- Recompensence? I can't talk, Jesus. In exchange, then, though I hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for my copy of the Scarlet Book? Sure? You obtain the Scarlet Book. Record of the next expedition to the Great Crater. The book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. I appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is where we part, fellow adventurer and winged king. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. I bid you adieu. It is weird to think about how the main difference of the versions is the professor, but both professors are the parents of Arvin. And just, the difference is that the other parent just pissed off and did not give a crap. <laughs> kind of messed up to think about. Ugh. One tiny little difference. Can I actually go talk to Arvin about this? I want to know. W wait, what? Why'd I go to the title screen? Huh? Is it implied they died? No, um... I thought during Area Zero you can find a book, at least in a Scarlet version, right? Um, yeah, in Scarlet version. I remember there was a sign that said that man was here, but he left after the child was born or something like that. Penny's there. There's Arvin. So other parent is just chilling somewhere. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Asprey, grabbing something to eat? Man, you sure to give me a beating in that Academy Ace tournament. Seems like all my closest buddies are in another league, you know? I mean, look at you. You just up and became a champion in your first year to boot. You know, that's pretty amazing, right? Then there's the Mona, top marks in every class at school. She's champion rank two. I hear Penny's got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something. Seems to be the I seem to be the only one average around here. Nothing special. Oh, that would be rude. You're great at cooking. Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. I only learned how to do the basics because my mom wasn't around to cook for me. 
Wait, my mom. See, now that my boss stiff is doing better, and since the treasure hunt's going and all, I've been thinking of a new goal to find myself. And I guess you really gotta start by knowing where you come from, which means I should learn more about my mom, right? She was a student at this school once, too, so that's what I heard. I'm gonna search the whole school for info about what kind of person she really was. Thanks for the inspiration, little buddy. Well, there he goes off. Where do I want to go? Uh, the entrance, I guess. I'm looking for wind, yeah, but I see wind everywhere. Uh, it looks like this is it. These guys need to go. Hang on. Let me just let Ogre Pond out with them. I think I found the spot. Hang on. Can you get lost? There you go. Okay. So I found the wind circle. What am I supposed to do here? I have to open the camera. It has to be set to the sepia filter. Are you, are you guys sure? It's starting to sound like y'all are making stuff up now. Hang on. All right, Sepia. I didn't spin long enough, so it won't work. Okay, then. All right, I'll spin for a bit. Like 20 seconds I have to do this for. My hand is tired. All right, let's just wait a little bit. Is there an in-game indication to do this? I'm not even sure. That should be more than long enough. All righty, go to Sepia. Now what? I hear something. Where is it? Oh, hey, how's it going? That is really weird. Melouette. So Meloet just shows up when you do all these things specifically. Lowest catch rate in the game, huh? Football. Damn it. It's a callback to an, a guy in Unova saying a sepia-filled memory. Jeez, really? pretty wild. I hope it can't KO itself here. Ogre Pond toughed it out. Damn right it did. Unfortunately, I'm asleep now. Hmm. Oh, it changed form. That's annoying. I didn't realize that I changed form with Relic Song, no. Ogre Pawn is down. I think I might just eat the Master Ball at it. My team is kind of dead, and I don't want to reset.
Oh, wow, that they put in the game like this. Yeah. Hang on. Let's grab it with that. There we go. And... Does it have a dex entry? No, it doesn't. Let me look in the boxes. That is so random that they put that in. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. Meloetta, Meloetta. Where'd it get stuff to? I don't see it there either, so it should be... Oh, chat, do you see her anywhere? Oh, I see her. Minus attack, plus defense. Best, 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 decent, pretty good. Oh, boy. Okay, then. As for the other two... Oh. Raging Bolt is pretty good in everything. Really? That's not a guarantee? Unfortunate. Also pretty good in everything. Damn. <laughs> pretty generic here. Look at that. All right, then. With that, though, chat, I did complete the Pokedex. <laughs> that is pretty much we're done. Why is Meloetta chilling in the terrarium, though? How'd it get here? Is that why you can't catch it in actual Unova? Because it moved in here? Probably. Dex is complete. Epilogue comes out next month, so I'll check that out. I don't know if it's going to be very long, though. We'll have to see. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this. These long little streams of me completing the Pokedex in the DLC. But I hope you all had a good time. Have a good night. And look forward to more. Bye-bye.